See how I, how I stuck that landing, Jordan, just like that? <laughs> and we're live. Professionalism, <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm. Let's see, 43,000 people work for Facebook. You just learned a fact. That's going to be the only one you get tonight, though. <laughs> Everything else is just hearsay and rumors. Ah, oh, the best Until kind. Until people start using the butt to trigger the wiki articles. No, <laughs> you get a don't lot do more. <laughs> don't trust wiki, man. It's edited by manatees. What's up, beautiful people? We're getting ready for a that horrible time of the year. Between, like, the Christmas stuff and, you know, the New Year's, where it's just all happens we're just sitting around like come on yes two days that i genuinely don't fucking get but whatever <laughs> hey man <laughs> days are gonna days we did manage to stick together just a little bit of a show for you though so that's because of the glue you blame everything in for glue listen this. i spent the wrong week to quit <laughs> sniffing glue man <laughs> it's not my fault i have delicious chalk markers hmm Mm. The fuck well. I still prefer crayons. High in vitamin C for chalk. <laughs> High in vitamin, you gotta rub them off, man, before they do it. <laughs> we are so far. I, I think I would have went with like 15,000, maybe. Mm. Well, they are deploying their own version of space internet, so 43,000 doesn't seem... Ah, oh, rip. Well, the, well the, the, they, were, they, were, they were trying to do that in India, too, where they're like, oh, yeah, you can get free internet as long as you just use Facebook. As long as you mm -hmm. access it through Facebook, you don't have to pay for data. That's yeah. that's scummy. Ugh. It's free, man. Get what you pay for. You, you, you are the product. That's it, man. Did anybody get anything fun for Christmas? I know, Pedro, you got... That. <gasps> Look at it. I got a drawing. It's amazing. It's uh, Pedro Wren, everyone. Yes. To be fair, it looks a lot like a picture of mine from... About a nine long, years long ago, ago when I started a dating far, Nori. Far away. Yeah, so pretty I'm, much. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say, there's not enough elf ears, or are you kissing another elf? <laughs> I, I, I like my Pedro. That was a different fanfic, way. Jordan. Right? <laughs> that was that wasn't a fanfic. That was like that's something out of a Stephen King novel. It's like I have this subject that I drew. I don't know who they are, but I know they like kissing dudes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. Uh, let's copy that picture. Don't copy the floppy. Uh. Welcome, Lucid Links. <laughs> I was being an out of date version of Ubuntu going for you. Is Lucid Links <laughs> a version of Ubuntu? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It was no beefy miracle. Beefy Miracle is the superior distro. Don, the we peaked at like 30 seconds in, so... The mustard <laughs> indicates progress. That's always fun yeah, when you find, like, hating. danger instructions. Somebody's figured out what you're trying to do, but it was, like, five years ago. You're like, whoa. Mm. Mm. Like, the there's, like, a four difference in the major version of mm. the software. Mm-hmm. Like, do, do we yep. try that? Oh, there it is. That one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's very clearly Pedro. <laughs> it is. Elf glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I did tell Doris, like, she's on um, DeviantArt, so you're on DeviantArt, you do you. <laughs> Straight out of Milfgard. <laughs> Those elves in The Witcher, man, the not TV show, well, the TV 
Netflix thing, man. Those are some gnarly <laughs> those elves, elves man. were very low budget. You, you don't want to met, like, Those elves, you don't want to run into in an alley, dude. They'll cut you. No. <laughs> man. Uh, uh, those uh, elves uh, have uh, all kind of STDs. <laughs> ETDs. Uh, el Elfily transmitted diseases. Elf like. Yes. yes. <laughs> Jingle all the way. And I, I don't know. The I, entire time. <laughs> ever, ever since I stopped being like, I don't know, a 14 year old, like mm -hmm. super graceful, beautiful Tolkien elves don't do it for me. I like weird elves, like from puberty hit you pretty hard, didn't it? It did, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm all about them dwarves. Mmm, beards. But that wasn't already telling me that her DeviantArt account hasn't been updated in years, so clearly someone's listening. Hi, honey. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> She just wanted yeah, to yeah, make yeah, sure watch you... what you say, son. Yeah, nah, man. All that that check in was, hey, man. Oh, showed my picture. Good. All right, I'm out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see a lot of people saying it's the end of the decade. We go through this like every 10 years. The decade doesn't technically end until the end of 2020. So. I mean, that depends if you're if you're starting counting from zero or not. Yes, <laughs> that's the whole thing. <laughs> but currently, the at least the numerical system that most of the Western countries seem to have adopted, um, yeah, it's uh, 2021. That's when the new decade starts. Here, Pedro, I got you something. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it's like every 10 years we have this so yeah. <laughs> but don't worry in another 10 years I'll be dead and I won't have to listen to this anymore I'll probably beat you to it man so don't worry about it I'll race ya <laughs> Tick -tock. grab that knife Tick -tock. I'll be back I just come back with like a mouthful of cigarettes mm -hmm. <laughs> Too bad you're still on vacation. What the hell are you doing watching this on vacation? I mean, I too know what it is to be, you know, away from your comfort zone. <laughs> is that your comfort hole? Yes, yes your, it is. <laughs> your comfort crevasse. Especially when that door is like all the way open and I'm like boxed in here. It's like, ah, so comfy. <laughs> Bitch, explain to me again how you're not a hobbit. <laughs> explain to me how you're not a hermit crab. <laughs> clank, clank. Hermit crab, cat. <laughs> yeah. You're like a crab with fleas. <laughs> I'm a very simple man. I'm very simple. I like what I like, and I don't like what I don't like. And that was a completely pointless sentence that you just heard me say, so. The world needed as, to know. As, as was that one <laughs> explaining it, so you're two for two. <laughs> Can I be a mongoose crab? <laughs> a trash panda crab. Trash pandas, man. Little grabbies. I wonder, see, I, I, I stopped myself because I was like, I wonder if they make like plastic lobster claws. I, could wear. I know they do, so I'm not looking for them. It, yeah, Jim Sterling's used them a few times. <laughs> I, want, I want to get like those mechanical like clampy arms. I don't see, I, I don't need additional things in this particular room that I have to explain on the off chance somebody wanders in here. I'm like, oh, okay. No, that's really? when you, you just think you'd have to explain that over everything else. You know, at I that, at that point, it. if they ask, if they ask too many questions, you just lock them in that room and leave them there for a few weeks. Right, it'll sort itself out. Oh, Pedro, change it to uh, just chatting. Yes, this is a really particularly shit game of Jackbox. <laughs> well, we're all telling lies. Oh. Just chatting. There. It's a good way to lose a finger. <laughs> I don't. 
What's the command for pancake pot? Uh, is it exclamation point P? Or is it P exclamation point? P exclamation mark, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently not. <laughs> What about the book? Like oh, wait, P no, 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 no. wiki. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I can't. I can't do. Uh, the I guess you need to say Wikipedia. Uh. <laughs> I am a wizard. <laughs> Cast magic missile at you for. I don't know. Huh. For eight plus three is eleven damage. I think Steve Willie is not having any of it. No. <laughs> pew pew pew. Pew Wikipedia, Pedro. Wikipedia. <laughs> it's wiki. <laughs> I tried the wiki. It didn't do anything. Blackjack, info, donate, invite, ping, stats, ban. You know, there's, there has to be a wiki in here, right? If we there was one, but I don't see it anymore. It's just bang wiki. No, um, Brad bot is dead. I mean, wiki Brad is still working. Oh yeah. Oh cool. We got our own wiki bot. Never mind. <laughs> Derp. Derp. That'll do it then. I I just proved it with science, motherfucker. <laughs> I missed your. All Derp. right, indulge me, wiki bot. Pero, pero. Oh, you're so, you're so oh, masculine, that's, that's, pero. That's interesting. I didn't. I didn't. I never realized pero, it was like close enough r related to Pierre. <laughs> Pierre. Or Perez. Peter. Oh, yeah, Peter. Yes. Yeah. Piotr. <laughs> Get old Peter Mateus. Peter Mateus. Peter Mateus. So <laughs> if you want to fully translate it, it's a Peter Matthews. That, 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 that's my name. <laughs> Pe Pedro, son of Peter Mateus. <laughs> Perez. Matthews. Stone. Oh shit! The name the name Peter is itself an Arabic tra uh, trans translation of Kephas or Cephas, which means stone. So there you go. Mm. He's sto he's Stone Mateus. Yes. <laughs> My name is basically the male version of uh, the Portuguese Petra. word for a stone, which is Pedra. <laughs> yeah. Pedro is derived from the Latin word Petra, from the Greek word Petra, meaning stone or rock. You did this to yourself, then. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a way to talk us out of this whole bad man. Come on. You, know, you, you, know, you threw you know, me a you hard ball. <laughs> hey, 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 then, you know what my name means? Going down. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Which part? Jordan. <laughs> I thought you were named after a river. Yeah, the the river descends, and that's where Yarden comes from. Yarden, Yarden, it's my Hebrew name. It's your Hebrew. Yarden, because 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 there's there's no J in Hebrew. It's just the Y. Damn, I was about to make a joke, and I was like, probably can't do that one. Um, hey, don't be an anti-Semite. No, it wasn't even that. It could be misconstrued as that, though. Yeah, my 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 full ma my full name translation. Your maiden means... name, yes. <laughs> my maiden name. I mean, technically, Swung is my maiden name. I didn't. I didn't take, I'm not married. I didn't take anyone else's name. Uh, no, but my my entire name translated means going down on an old man bondage style. I'll put you in a swung. <laughs> yeah. Or, Grumb for short. 
You're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Gesundheit. Uh, I like how that actually spells out doom in the middle of all that. <laughs> doom. Doom. Doom song. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Frank's been wow. fashionable. Oh, that's why you're not wearing the sweat. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I got on my limb. This is my tux shirt. It's got like the... um. Color for the bow tie. They're, it's dress clothes. Nothing if you've been in more than twenty meters of I wear shirts a lot, but the shirts I wear, they're supposed to be worn with. Oh, I have a, I have a, I have a closet. Yeah, they're supposed to be socks. worn with jeans. <laughs> I've, I bought a bunch of them while I was working at Equifax, but I don't work there anymore. So, uh, like you're I, dead to me. I've, I've been known to dress nicely from time to time. I just choose not to because I'm a slob. I have the one suit. It's the same suit that I went to my uh, prom in. Still this, fits this, this legitimately uh, has the frills on it. I mean, I wear this when I'm doing like a charity benefit. If I'm in <laughs> seeing some shit like that because you can wear it with a bow tie. I'm not going to wear a bow tie for you tonight. Sorry, everyone at home. You're not gonna. You're not even gonna do the uh, <laughs> fake putting on a bow tie that Matt Smith does, where it's like very clearly a clip on at the scene where it cuts to him. I don't. Have, it's got French cuffs, and I'm not clicking, clacking on this desk. So <laughs> I don't have anything that uh, takes a French cuff, but that's because I don't own cufflinks. Mm. Well, you know what? That works out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you made it. Hello, Linda. Wow. Hey, you can kind of get me when you're giving me. <laughs> yeah, okay. A little bit of off access rejection. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? That's my Matt Smith's favorite doctor of the new series. Period. No, nope, they have a 10 inch. <laughs> I thought it was Stid It. Turned out that's Matt Smith. <laughs> There were more Still tenant prefer tenant episodes. <laughs> there were more tenant episodes I liked than Smith episodes. Then I'm have to go. I went back. Eccleston was good. Oh, Eccleston was a perfectly fine doctor. He just thought he was too big for his britches. Because mm. <laughs> uh, he played uh, Dark Elf in um, Avengers. Yeah. Hey, Shay, there's the shot of the TV. There we go. Now we can start streaming. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> there it is. Uh-huh. That's the over-under on the, the stand that's holding that TV up, given out. That looks <laughs> like a real stand. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got some bits from Dawn. Thank you very Yay. much for the 110 bits. 110. <laughs> yep. Sounds like somebody's sending a message. With 11 cents? Pizza fuck. Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, let, being let, so let's, obtuse, let's, Pedro. Well, so, 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 so let, 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 let's break it. Let's break Your it. Your mom's right, obtuse. Like, Get the red yarn like, out. We got to break this shit down. One, one, one and one in binary is two. Or mm -hmm. sorry, it's three, actually. Um, Because one and zero is two. So three. Three is considered an un... No, it's not. It's not considered an unlucky number in any... It's a prime number. Okay, that's... Uh, three binary. is the magical number. So There's always three wishes. Uh, the three so, so fairy it, godmothers. It, 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 the... it, it, it's, it's a prime number, and Optimus Prime is leader <laughs> of the Autobots. Voiced by... Voiced by um, Peter McCulloch. Okay. Um, Pete Peter is uh, Pedro... Yeah, and, and and Pedro Pedro means stone, mm -hmm. as we found out. And Venstone runs Linux Gamecast, and Linux Gamecast has just aired crap. Oh my God, it's a conspiracy about <laughs> fertilizer. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> all of this time, <laughs> there's a fertilizer bomb under the bridge. Oh no, it's just like the Dark Knight. I understand.
<laughs> Homeland Security. Um, yeah, CSIS. <laughs> alphabet agencies around the world. Hello, Alphabet Corporation, who's clearly monitoring these communications. Hello, MI5 or 6, whatever the case may be. I'm not sure which one I fall under the jurisdiction of on accounts of me not being a... Is it, is it, isn't MI6, like, not real? Oh, MI5 and MI6 are real-ish, as far as anyone's concerned. <laughs> So, hmm, I guess they're both real. Try to squeeze out allegedly a uh, show. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this Steam segment's gonna go by real quick. We're gonna be real. Get ready for some padding. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, yeah that's, that's that's Steam game. That's good. <laughs> what are your thoughts on um? Right. <laughs> I, I mean, that's what that first story is. That, this is just like mm -hmm. 10 minutes of conversation fodder. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, um, that first story was, was me going, oh, crap, finally something about the Steam that we could put on the show notes. Oh, crap, it's already there. Never mind. Pretty much. <laughs> but hey, it's going to be a thing. Let's get to it. Oh, Steven, don't hate. <laughs> Okay, hate a little. <laughs> Guzzle that hater aid, son. Mm. Orange flavored. Oh, hey, Pennywise. <laughs> what is, what is the box, man? Come on. What's in the box? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. What is up, beautiful people? It is almost New Year's Eve. It is the, um... Time to be afraid. We're done with Christmas. Nothing exploded. Hanukkah's been over for a minute, hasn't it, Jordan? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Pedro, is that correct or incorrect? I have no idea. <laughs> Just because I look like Jesus Christ doesn't mean I'm Jewish. Oh, oh no. no Hanukkah's not <laughs> quiet, Han Hanukkah. Kylo Mateus. Um, Hanukkah is over Monday. Hanukkah Monday is, is over last Monday. Day. See, Bring you hard facts right out of the gate. Hey, beautiful people. I'm Ben Stone. Every week, I'm joined by uh, the Funk Soul brother of Canada. Check it out now. Oh, look at him. It's Jordan Swing. Right That's about right. now. And Pedro Totes, not an elf. Kylo, not Ren. Check it out. There it is. I mean, That's his you could shot. make the argument. Maybe. No, that's, more, that's, more, that's more Edward Scissorhandies. Yeah. Hand, oh. hand, hand, <laughs> Dude, what was it last night? Uh, at Re Billy Blade Fingers or something like that. <laughs> yes. Chucky, ch Chucky, Chucky Chop Hands. Dude, I don't know. It, 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 it was bad enough to work. Like that could be a porn. I was like, I would not want to watch that. And hey, you're joining us live, chat room dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Motron. Oh, have we been up to anything fun? No. No? No. No, <laughs> staying home, not doing much of anything. You, it looks... you, you, you're trying to get like Bayonetta up and running on Linux, right? Dude, I took that adventure, man. I'm like, hmm. You know, the first step to buying something is to see if you can get out of buying something. Because I'm like, I want to play Bayonetta too. I want to play it, you know, and share it around. And it's like, do I have to get a Wii U? And it's like, well, you can either get a Wii U, or everyone's telling me to buy a Switch. I'm like, do oh. it. Do it. No, I want, I, I only play retro consoles. Do it. Dino Fire. Um, <laughs> do it. Yeah. CMU uh, Strider. I broke out the uh, fabulous uh, Lutris. It was like, boom. Lutris. Oh, look, they get a little script. Did that. Did that. Loaded up Bayonetta. And it technically launches. And I'm still probably going to end up buying a Wii U at some point. But check that out. Got, got some new threads from <laughs> Frank's Frank. wearing your sweat. Just that like, is. <laughs> that's not mine anymore, man. I've lost control I, I, of it. I, I don't know, Vin. Do you, do you run into this problem at all? Where, like, 
there, so there, there's there's that scene in Pulp Fiction where after they blow up the Lamar's head, um, mm -hmm. they, they 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 go to Quentin Tarantino's house and he has like clothes for them, right? Like that could not happen for me because like yeah, I got some spare clothes for you. They won't fit. No. Oh. Yeah, me, me and Frank are roughly the same size. Dude, yeah. all right, he's being all cool and shit right now. Uh, fuck. Sassy bitch is the only way to describe Frank <laughs> when I'm trying to get a damn sweater on him. But his hair and shit's getting all messed up. And I'm we like, need someone to move uh, Frank's hand now and smack Van across the back of the head. It's, it's, it's like trying to put a sweater on a cat, right? Like, it's just all claws and teeth and biting and... But... He's rocking the um, sweet vampire llama from Don M. Thanks again for that. It's uh, another level of added confusion to anyone who has the misfortune <laughs> of walking into this particular room. They're like, you know what? Roll with it. How about you, Pedro? Did you uh, get some things to? You got something to your right there. Like... Oh, yes. I suppose I, I should mention the fact that uh, what, um, well, there was a thing about Carl sending me some T pins uh, a while back. Well, he didn't just send me the T pins. He also sent me some um, acoustic foam pads, See, and here they are. That, that's why Carl's a better person than I am because I was a down with just getting you the T pins. <laughs> like, <"Haha." laughs> I mean, I got, I got to use them now, so that's nice. <laughs> now, here's a fair question: Where are you at on your T pin supply? Because when I uh, like had to redo this and move everything, look at the fuck, wall, it's gorgeous. Um. I was looking at my box of T pins. You're like, I'll never use. I'm down to like 16. <laughs> As everyone goes to their T pin collection. Mine is, mine is still a mostly lot of full. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to find the angle where I don't spill a bunch of T pins Damn on it. my desk. Oh. A transparent box, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Well, la dee da, Mr. Uh, plastic Man, living in your yeah. plastic land <laughs> with, 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 with your foam. You know, you know what else is not made out of plastic? Nope. The horse. Uh -uh. It's it's Don't just made it. out of goop. Monster. It's goop. It's the steam. Of the last week of 2019. Woo! Woo! Yes, and. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I mentioned uh, that the end of the year uh, brings about some vapid, vapid end of year lists uh, on uh, LWDW. And, well, I guess it spilled over a little bit onto Linux Gamecast Weekly because the best of Steam 2019. And you can go to the Steam store and select a couple of different categories. You have the top sellers, the top new releases, the top VR games, the top early access graduates, and uh, the top most played or most simultaneous players at once uh, for games. And apparently, uh, The Witcher 3 got a big bump because of the Netflix series. Go figure. Uh -huh. uh, the uh, There were, uh, in the top sellers and the top new releases, there were actually a fair few games that we threw chairs at over the year and um in the top sellers i did notice that in the platinum bit um there were four free-to-play games mm -hmm. explain I, that to me microtransactions <laughs> zero, zero, maybe zero is uh, the amount of money there we you go. Spend. dude you gotta get those hats son uh, rocket cars still print money so i guess that was a good buy for yeah, epic yeah. you know i look yeah. forward to probably possibly not being able to play the epic version or whatever however they managed to separate that from steam because yes that is coming tomb raider we got that that's rocking bronze in the sales and i did notice code vein still too expensive for my cheap ass yeah, it did come out this souls. year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, on, honestly, there's like a, very few uh, Linux game, Linux native games compared to last year. There were a lot more on the list. That little Steam icon was a lot more common. But given the fact that we have like a mature-ish Proton now, we can actually play a bunch of the games that are, you know, on this list. Oh, yeah. Warframe mm -hmm. works. I tried that. Except for Destiny 2. You'll get your ass banned if you even try. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, easy Andy cheat aside, Epic has a reason to slow down the development on the Proton compatible version of that. Yeah, right. Yeah. They, that, 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 that's where Strider's 25 grand came from. They're just like, we're just going <laughs> to allocate this budget over to this guy. 
Seems legit. It's better than that time they're like, hey guys, why don't you port our game to Linux with wine? That was that was, that was the Oh, that guys. was um Topware. Yeah. Topware. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Yeah. Uh True story. so um Speaking of, uh, you know, bringing your games to Linux, and you may remember that one of the first ones that actually worked if you were to download the beta for um, Steam on Linux was a Team Fortress 2. And if you did start the game, you would get the teeny tiny little uh, penguin plushie for your character. Well, this isn't it. This mm -hmm. is the other penguin. This is the other penguin that uh, is fixed yeah. now. And uh, according to... Yeah, it's Pebbles the Penguin. And um, to there was a, a problem because it uh, it's a shoulder-mounted penguin in the game, apparently. And with the heavy model, the heavy, um, heavy weapons guy character model, there was some issues, but it's fixed now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, also, I'm just they updated the Disco and... Vision. Disco Vision, man. It's a thing. <laughs> it's when you take a bunch of acid and watch John Travolta movies. Uh, no, I'm just happy that he the Heavy and Pebbles the Penguins are on speaking terms again. I was, I was, I was really yeah. invested in that drama. I completely don't. Do you act, is this something Windows users can get to? Probably. Yeah, it's just Pebbles I, I, the Penguins. I mean, one of the rare I mean, to get to the common drops. The, <laughs> to get to the other penguin, they had to install the Linux VM, so. They did. There, there was like a one click package. On Windows, yeah, it was an EXE. You'd click, it would start the VM, put you in the game, and then just kill it. There, done. <laughs> man, uh, it's I, I don't know. Hey, man, some people install like seven Linux, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we get to talk about Zen. It's out, it's released, um, and there's a holiday sale. You can get it for $15.99. What is Zen? You never heard of it. It's the remake uh, sanctioned by Valve of the original. Half-Life. Oh, dang it. It's not an AMD processor. Mm. Black Mesa. <laughs> you know it. And this is the last level that has been in development almost as long as the game, and I'm only slightly exaggerating. But it's there. You can play it. One of the things with the um, latest update that just came out is apparently they've sorted some of the performance regressions and issues that people were having under Linux. One of them being the 15 minutes it took to finish the tram ride because mm. <laughs> it hit some weird shaders or something and i mean it went to three to six furps to where i'm like hey man i, I want to play a little bit of this i've never played through half-life and i was gonna do it on the stream and in order to get that save game i just had to let it sit and go do some dishes Seems, seems seems legit. Nah. So the, the the other thing too is this isn't the final release either. They're calling this uh, not point nine. Um, they uh what one point they they list out their goals for that. It seems to be a lot of like QA related stuff. So like fixing performance regressions, finding stability. They they want people to play test stuff more because they want to see if they can like tweak balance to make things more challenging if it needs to be more challenging or less challenging if it's just overwhelming. Um, one, one thing that's a little sad is they did stop you from being able to bail out of the cart before the ending, though. Just be like, oh, G-Man's like, I'm going to save you. And I'm going to be like, no, bitch, bye. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. And they also healed the G-Man's case of the scurvy in that, uh, final scene as well. Cause apparently, um, his teeth were turning black. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking glad you finally to... drank some top pine tea. Yeah. Right. Um. Synergy, come on, we're, we're getting close. I, I look yeah, to yeah, it. they did promise that. Uh, well, they did say it was it was once it was out, uh -huh. and I guess not point nine doesn't technically qualify as out. I, listen, man, I'm gonna let me like, yo, dude, nah, it's really one point oh because they're like they, they made that bet going. I will never be finished. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I'm I'm just curious to see what because like. Synergy introduces some considerable jank to Half-Life 2. I'm curious what it'll do to a Black Mesa. <laughs> you know, according to them, they've really cleaned up the code base quite a bit, so... Eh, maybe well, it's better now? <laughs> I, 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 mean, I mean, it can it can only be so good to a point, because you're injecting multiplayer into a primarily single-player game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's very clear that some things are just not going to work well. Like, the game wasn't I mean, technically, the engine API uh, exposes that kind of functionality. It's just that they didn't actually expect people to try it. 
The, the, the levels don't. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> so, let's talk about something that... It's not a new game. In fact, it came out uh, last year, but ah. it now has a Linux version in beta that you can play with. Yes. It's a it's a futuristic racing game. Uh, it, the, the cars sort of remind me of, like, the racers from Connecticut for the PlayStation 2. You but, know, um, I, I love living in this world now because I can look at that picture that we're looking at and it's like, that looks more tame than a cyber truck. Cybertruck. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but it's 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 in early access. They have uh, a Linux version now, which is kind of nice. Um, you can you, you can play that. Um, they got some two forty p trailer video. Yeah. Yes. But the, the 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 problem is, it's a racing game. It mm -hmm. Doesn't have online multiplayer. Don't so, worry, Jordan. We can use the magical technology of remote play well yeah. so here, here, here's the thing remote play kind of works for some games yeah it, it, it really depends on like the delay that the sort of game introduces via remote play because ra racing games are kind of time sensitive when it comes to input right because it can okay. be the difference between making the turn and going into mm -hmm. a wall and yeah <laughs> Yeah, so so having couch co-op over the Riddle network, me the geez. fuck this, Sherlock. Why is it recommending uh, broadband internet connection? Would you prefer they recommend Because dial -up? fuck you, that's why. To what? Download it? <laughs> yeah. Again, eight, eight, because eight, fuck you, that's why. Eight, eight, 18 gigabytes <laughs> over uh, over 56k modem? How long mm -hmm. you figure that out, Jack? <laughs> 128k qualified as broadband where I used to live. Dude, nothing uh, puts me on my like emotion roller coaster quicker than when I see like arcade racer. Yes, love those. Linux support, good on you, mate. Followed by single player. Yeah. And um, if you you mentioned the trailer earlier, uh, if if you actually go back and look at the trailer, there's a cursor on screen through most of it. Oh really? Uh, Hang on. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they say that it's based on night. It's like a tribute to '90s games such as Mega Race, POD, Death Cars, and Rides. Um, honestly, I wait, wait, don't wait. hate the look of it. Where's the cursor? In the first video or the second? The second one, I think. Your seat. Oh, it's there. <laughs> like in the lower left quadrant. No, it's the first one. Uh, seat. Okay. <laughs> oh there it is all right hang on yeah <laughs> Everyone at home. yeah Just... it starts out in the middle and then it moves to the lower left quadrant uh, so clearly no someone touched the mouse at some point <laughs> whoops a little bit of v-sync issues yeah yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's that's why but... obs has the hide cursor option <laughs> yeah but honestly the game doesn't look terrible and good. i very much liked wipeout so i'd be pretty much down for this kind of racing mm -hmm. game yeah <laughs> there was some game with a demo that i saw i didn't want to burn a heretic purchase on it it was a spiritual successor to wipeout it was like red eclipse or something like i don't know and it was built with U ue ford i mean it was wipeout man it ran pretty well Mm. I played with well, it. It's, 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 de it's definitely not Red Eclipse because that's the next story. No, no, it was Red <laughs> something. I was going to say, but I was like, I know it's not that. Um, pretty decent. Superman, Red Sun. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> yes, that's why I was wearing a cape. That makes more sense. Um, one week older, we talked about this last week. Red Eclipse 2 turns seven days old. And you're like, this game's been out forever on Steam. It's kind of what we're hitting at. A uh, couple of new things. They've achieved a very positive review metric uh, with like 46 positive, which is good on them. This is an open source game. Play it for free on Steam. Bonus soda. People are actually playing the game. This is a good way to get your open source project in front of, you know, people's eyes mm -hmm. and their hands and their toes. They are their making tentacles. plans for Red Eclipse 2.1. And I just want to throw some like goodwill and love at them. For getting it on Steam, simply because we're shills for Steam, but also it's a fantastic <laughs> way. You know, you think even as a developer, Steam's like, hey, you want some of that free bandwidth? Yeah. Do you want yeah. yourself your own um, multiplayer VPN that you can basically have everyone play the game through? Steam yeah, tools, can. baby. 
Well, the, and the, the the whole right click join thing. Like, remember remember having to like punch in server IP addresses and forwarding ports. Yeah. You remember don't... Steam Spy? Yeah. <laughs> remember Game Spy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The all seeing eye. <laughs> Dude. Roger Wilco. No, but like we're we're also open source shills, and it's it's good to see some open source representation on Steam. But uh, Steam's we're, we're, DRM. Re I, it, I mean, it can be. It can it have, have DRM. Uh, part of the Steam Works libraries include DRM if developers wanted to use them. And here's the thing: the developers who are likely to use them, they tend to use not just the Steam Works DRM. As well as the Nuvo and Securom and I I I I will I will say this bullshit. though about about on the topic of like vendor lock in Valve is actually pretty good about that because like they offer oh, yeah. an open source version of Steam Sockets like no this is the same library if you don't mm -hmm. want to you if you want to develop your game with our networking tools but you don't want to use it on Steam here's the version that shuts all that shit off and you can still have the same API calls and whatnot. Uh, they did. They did that with Steam VR as well. They're pretty good about like, well, here's the stuff. If you want to use it, if you don't want to be on our platform, yep. please still use our stuff. Valve has been exceedingly cool in that area, and you know we've said it multiple times. You know because we're shills for Valve, but the the tool set they provide, that's where that cut comes from, as opposed to what? Yeah, you, you expect a shopping cart? <laughs> what you, you want? You want a multiplayer function? Lobbies? Yeah. Here's another free game. <laughs> Shut up, monkey. All right. Coming up next, if you have an old, old, old video card, you might be very, very pleased with some news we have coming up next. Also, Stephen Hawking's vocorder. Weird, weird flex, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I had not heard of that emulator that's in, in the in the news. I'm like. So I started reading this guy's website, and it's like, oh, the um, he wrote um, he wrote like a sound chip emulator that like, they st Stephen Hawking's uh, vocoder was using it, mm. and they stopped making it, so they were just using that to to allow Stephen Hawking to talk for the last couple years of his life. That was like an interesting thing I read about Hawking's was, you know, naturally they, voith uh, voith thent voith thent had progressed quite a bit. Oh, that's a me level fuck up right there. <laughs> yeah, you're rubbing off on me, man. Um, <laughs> the, you know, just the synth technology, you know, uh, reproduction of the human voice to get a lot better, but Hawking's was like, no, this is my voice. Yeah, this is my voice now. Yeah. Mm. It's... It's weird because there's like a recording somewhere of like Stephen Hawking speaking before he got like. Oh yeah. No, it's not what you think. It sounds like Barry White. Mmm, how you doing? Sound, yeah, he fucking sounds like Chef. Yeah. Baby. Hello, children. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, children. <laughs> Goodbye, children. <laughs> All right, I gotta take a piss. I'll be back. What's left to watch? Oh, by the way, we'll have up for Patreons. We wrote, we'll mention this in the Patreon thing. Um, we did a Star Wars, the last Jedi's spoiler yeah, thing. Autics. Yep. It's more like 25, but you get the idea. Oh, really? Oh, right. There'll be audio and video of it up on Patreon for that tomorrow. Ish. Maybe Monday. Possibly. Possibly. What's ah. left to watch? What, There's not anything. We've watched everything. We're we're out of sci-fi stuff to watch, man. I've even cut through all the expanse now. I'm like, damn it. No, I'm I gotta really... I gotta finish Legion. Legion. I oh, dude, I only watched the first episode of that. It's really good. Yeah, I, I know. I think that'll be good. Uh Doom Squad. Doom Patrol, yeah. Yeah. I I haven't watched that. That might be alright. I watched the first episode of that. It's like uh, this seems okay. Doctor Who is days away. Oh yeah, we, we got new we got new Who. We get the New Year the special now because we don't do the Christmas episodes anymore. There's reasons. I mean, I'm I'm not heartbroken about that. I am. Well, happy Hanukkah. Hail Santa, baby! It's too late to get that. That shirt is no longer available. So if you picked up a 
think Carlos picked up one. Carlos. Is, uh, Carlos, man. I think we sold a couple of them. Did she just say PlayStation sucks? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't know. That was just like a random what lyric. What are you, pro just... PlayStation now? You've changed. I'm man. not uh, I'm not anti-PlayStation. <laughs> just awkward silence. PlayStation sucks. PlayStation. Pedro's got a PlayStation now. It's true. What do you think? Do you think he's plugged it in yet? I want to say no. We haven't started seeing Bloodborne screenshots, so I'm inclined to believe you. I'm going to be on Team No on this. We'll find out. Yeah. So, Pedro. Pedro. Girlfriend, we'll get a question for you. Okay. Damn, we can go a lot of places with this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation has it been plugged in yet? Oh yeah, it's been plugged in. Hmm. I I just haven't brought myself to uh, actually spend thirty pounds on uh, the so, Game of the Year edition of Bloodborne. So you don't have a game to play with it yet? <laughs> Correct. Okay, so we get half points. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, my my my, my, th my theory was so Ven was saying you hadn't plugged it in. I'm saying. I'm inclined to agree just because we haven't started seeing like Bloodborne screenshots spammed in Discord, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's plugged into this monitor. This one right here. <laughs> oh, you could um, stream right from yeah, the PlayStation. Yeah, you're not, you're not plugging it into the capture card? I suppose I could do that, yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> then then, then you, you, you would have to take it out of the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> I would actually need to take out the Raspberry Pi and do that video. I remind me seriously six months remind kids. me six months i've been on this one <laughs> it, it's called google calendar pedro you can just add a little entry okay google remind me to fuck <laughs> off and not do this for another month <laughs> but yeah no i went through uh plugged it in went through the setup logged into my uh well i had to reset my uh psn account uh password because i Fuck all if I can remember it, uh, but yeah, it's um, it works. It it's it's nice. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> it's too late, Pedro. Jordan's already checked out on something. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. It's a weird Rammstein cover. <laughs> You're watching a weird Rammstein? I'm saying this is a weird Rammstein cover. Front, what's this? Frontex versus zombies. <sighs> we got a gig. Oh, dude. Did you ever get like a Google <laughs> assistant? Hmm. The only reason I have an Amazon thing is because it gave me one. And I've never set it up. <laughs> it just tells me very politely that it's going to bed when I disconnect the Bluetooth from it. Because I use it as a speaker. Alright. I'm still very tempted by that 99 um, pound uh, Fire HD 10. They work. Yeah, they do. <laughs> How much is the uh, Acer Chromebook? Of, no, the Chrome tab. Uh, the Chrome tab. I don't know. Let's see. Acer Chrome tablet. Uh, Three hundred and nineteen. Pounds, yeah, now <laughs> that's a bit more than a buck fifty. Mm. <laughs> a bit, <laughs> oh, oh wow, my Chromebook is uh, up to three hundred pounds. <laughs> Turn it for a profit, baby. 
<laughs> it's still in pretty good shape. <laughs> Do you think you could get by I basically Chromebook use Jordan? it while I'm cooking to like Me? keep uh, the cooking stuff. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. There's there's nothing about any of these Chromebooks that really screams like this is the thing that I want. Not the question. Would I buy a Chromebook? No. What was the question? <laughs> now we've established that much. Could you get by on a Chromebook? Could I get by on a? Maybe? Like challenge Does... mode. A month. A month? Ooh. I think I could do it. I... <laughs> as my only computing device. Yeah. Can I install Chromium OS on a different laptop? <laughs> well, okay, I guess... Okay, okay, I'll make it easy. The fuck you expensive top end Pixel $1200 i9. Right, so. I mean, I mean, I guess there's nothing stopping me from just SSHing into another machine. No. Is that allowed? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Then yes. Okay. By the way, you cannot install OBS on Chrome OS. Quit asking Discord. <laughs> can you install OBS on you Android? You can. If you enable the Linux thing, you can just download the deb and install it. <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> Steam launches. Playing games is still a bit of a crapshoot. You, <laughs> you can play FTL. That's all that really yeah, Yes. FTL and Into the Breach work very well. Just gotta have the, like, the right expectations, man. Yep. <laughs> like, what do you I mean? tried um, Dungeons of Dreadmore because, you know, it's old, shouldn't require a lot. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. It, it's completely unplayable. It's so slow. <laughs> How slow is it? My laptop should be able to. I paid three thousand dollars for in this frames laptop per second. ten years ago. It should play all the games. <laughs> no, that's the thing. The T forty two ThinkPad. Uh, it that one plays um, Dungeons of Dreadmore without issue. At like. 30 FPS, but it plays it. <laughs> Linux, you just go, just caused everyone to go silent. That's on you. Mm. Well, now we're going to find out whether or not Demons and wizards? What's that? Band. They're, uh, that Saturday I took off a while ago was, go to, was to go see them live. Did you buy a t-shirt? I did. How much is a t-shirt? Too much. Why? Well, I, I know <laughs> that, but... How much is too much? 30? 40, 40 bucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's $40 for a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forty forty dollars for a memento of a show that I haven't gotten to see. It, it basically took nineteen years for them to get on this fucking tour. <laughs> so, whatever. Would you would you do you want me to take the shirt off, Pedro? Does this bother you? Oh yes, take it off slowly. <laughs> No, wait, this is on Twitch. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm wearing pasties. Get some have, body have, paint, man. We'll get away with it. They have, they have, some, they have some tassels on them. I'll go, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> uh... Yeah, man. There's like some straight up things like Twitch will just show you like the recommended stuff. <laughs> and like, like what? You know, like 9,000. Why are 9,000 people? Oh, got it. 12 year old. <laughs> Understood. All right. Are we ready to get into this? Might as well. Yes. What are you reading? 
Uh, my reading. I'm just browsing Twitter for funny shit. Anything good? I'm sure with class. No. no. If if there's shit, if there's funny shit, I just post it in Discord, right? So. Mm. I browse Reddit. How do you browse Twitter? Scroll. Just scroll. <laughs> yeah. I don't follow enough people for that to be very effective. Yeah, I have uh, one of the tweet deck things is still the default of like the stuff that uh, all the people I follow like. So every now and then I'll scroll through that. It's like, uh, oh, there's some porn. Oh, there's some smut. Mm. Cool. All right. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta set up a separate Twitter account for all the smut. <laughs> I follow the wrong people, then, man. I don't ever get any of that. Just follow all the smut. <laughs> yeah. I like I like porn. <laughs> that's what I use Love Google me. News for. Come on. That's what I use Bing for. <laughs> uh, that's why you go on Mastodon and you, and you enable the federated timeline. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what the weird shit is. Fair enough. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking, speaking of which, vote down next game cast .com. Vote on some fucking show tales. Like no. Do we have any? <laughs> Uh, we got we got a couple of shoulder mounted penguin. Frank is a sassy bitch. Fred's not dead. Cooking Christmas. Kylo Ven and Hellox. <laughs> Give shoulder mounted penguin a boat. Uh, okay. Doing the thing. Done and done. Oh. We need to get Jordan to go to hot yoga. There's a place that does hot yoga near me. And on that sexy thought, in three, two... If for some reason you'd like to see us in yoga pants, what's wrong with you? Also, well, there's a way you can uh, Have you basically seen fund the that. Internet. <laughs> I mean, I, I can I can put some yoga pants on my wish list. The hell do you reality. mean if? <laughs> eh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jordan, how can people fund your yoga pants? Uh, well, there, there are a number of ways to do that if you want to see pictures of my sweet, sweet ass. You can head on over to linuxgamecast.com. The pictures aren't there. You have to go to one of the other links. If you mouse over the support <laughs> uh, menu items, um, we, got, we, got, we got a Patreon, we got LibrePay. Damn it, got now the merch. site's getting scraped. Why do you say these things? <laughs> <laughs> hey, pal, links, we got, we got the aforementioned wish list. I'm going to add some yoga pants later tonight. And some Bitcoin. But, of course, the best way to support this nonsense is to head on over to patreon.com. Slash Linux Gamecast. Nope, um, looking for yoga pants. I said I put. I said I put them later. Canadian yoga pants. <laughs> There's a definite lack of yoga pants. <laughs> you know, you you can you can you can you can give me shit if you check in next week. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, I mean, if we're just gonna look at pictures of butts now, I'm, I'm gonna check out. I'm trying to find a tasteful pair for you. Mostly. I mean, uh, all, all, all I see is pictures of butts, man. Yeah, oh. that, there's a lot of butt. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what if we got some with pockets? <laughs> I've seen those, actually. They're so pointless. Um, but but anyways, yeah. Uh, pa Patreon.com slash SnickSkinCast. Become, become a Hashtag Patreon, get access to uh, Discord, get access to uh, when we play some games. Uh, we did some foobarring with the Jackbox um, last night. Last week Patreon. of every month, man, we do the Jackbox attack, the Crackbox. Yeah. What's in it? We are. Yeah, uh, the, the the plan is to do some uh, Vermintide on Thursday, so if you want to check that out. Being a Patreon is the easiest way to RSVP, because if you're paying us, you get a buy-in. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Um, Next nice, like show that. notes is also pretty cool. We get the pre-pre-superstars in. If you want to hear our opinions on Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, you can Live. watch the pre-pre-supershows. <laughs> um... That, that's an extra hour of Linux Gamecast goodness, of us just warming up and talking shit. Is that a threat or a promise? Yes. Thought so. 
Yeah. Uh, we, we got we got wish lists. Uh, I'm I'm gonna put some yoga pants on there shortly. Pedro <laughs> also needs to put some yoga pants on there, and Ven needs I'll to put, put some, some hot pants. pants on there. We no. gotta get some booty shorts for Ven. Diana Fine, Ven. Ven. I, I'm gonna get a Bye yoga Ven hat. Booty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't lived until you've uh, a yoga You hat. know what? The idea of seeing Ven and Daisy Dukes kind of tickles me. <laughs> you I, think you know, like I would have the slightest <laughs> problem doing that. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, put put up or shut up, man. I'll wear yoga pants. Daisy yoga pants. I'll do it. I know. Um, we 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 got uh, but yeah, if you buy something off the wish list, that big Too shiny busy reflective thing. thinking about thing, my hot ass and yoga pants, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what ass? <laughs> um, yeah, that that shiny reflective thing that lets you creep on what Ven's doing is the fuck wall. You can get up on there if you uh buy some stuff off our wish list. We gotta thank uh Basil. He sent us some poops. Oh, dude, I got this thing. So, like, if I go off access, <laughs> come back in like that. But it's not just so I can. I'm totally going to be doing that a lot, though. Um, <laughs> Basil, you're monster. You're beast. You're awesome. You also wrote something on the um, thing that, against our better judgment, we read these. It says, boom, boom, from Basil. This is great. Um, Fair. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Huge fan. It really minimizes the boom boom, and this is definitely one of the things that I would have never bought from. Like, this, these things are like a hundred bucks, dude. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. So, well, thank, thank you, thank you, Vassal. Thank, thank, thank you very much. In all fairness, it's not a butter. Has the butter maker been used yet? I'm still. I'm not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I, I'm. I, I'm prepared. I just need to pick a recipe. Okay. Everybody give Basil shout outs and remind we're we're now officially in 2020 on Butterwatch. I, I love that Blizzard Butterwatch game. 2020. Can you can you play it in Proton? Speaking of Nvidia drivers, um <laughs> smooth segue just like that. Yes. Smooth we, like butter. Leg drivers, man. Uh there's an update, man, for the old business. This is for the 34108. Just out, supported products. And if you look at this, we're talking like seven series, six series. But the big thing this brings is support for 5X curdles. So, I mean, even if you have like old 160Ms and stuff like that, but I think the 8, big thousands and 9,000 series. Quadro How old is that? Two, baby. <laughs> Grid K2. Ah, oh, okay. Man, all, all the legacy shit. Fortunately, what, what I really think this is is for research labs and stuff that genuinely have like rows of quadros. They're still running oh, yeah. scent, which is still on kernel three though, but I guess it's mm, they could be rock and roll like that. I saw, I think it was the, they showed up on eBay when I was looking, I'm always looking for like a quadro to slap in this box for more rendering power, but it was one of their compute cards, like the K 80, mm -hmm. which was like two Titan X's on the same board. Like 24 gigs of frame buffer, no cooler on it because it's designed for a rack, it's just got a heat sink with a hole through the middle. So, yeah, it was fun going to YouTube watching the Rube Goldberg ways people were trying to uh make that work. Plus, it's also a 300 watt cart, so yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe I mean, you if you're driving two cool Titan Keplers. <laughs> Uh, off of a single board, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna need a lot of power. It was great. It's like the card runs really good until you try to use it, then the computer shuts down. <laughs> yeah, it idles real well. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 ever, you ever seen Chernobyl? You know how the thing just got like super hot and started melting towards the center of the earth? It's basically that with a GPU. Those yeah. are now showing up on eBay for like 300 bucks. Those were like six thousand dollars a couple of years ago. This is this is this is why I don't feel bad about like waiting for shit to get cheap because yeah like the, the the level of depreciation that happens in IT and computers is ridiculous like this was top of the line I paid ten thousand dollars for it yeah it's fifty cents on eBay now like, it yep. doesn't appreciate that's cool though I mean seriously uh is anybody out there running I would think you could still get away with playing like on a seven or, seventy or, 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 or seven eighty like or like a six eighty or something yeah yeah. Or Rocket like League. the old uh, 8600s and 8700s. I don't know if they ever released an 8900 series, but um, yeah, the old 8000 series was 
the cream of the crop for a while there and a lot of people bought into that particular family and it yeah i mean just I'm, get I mean, a up, new driver going up up into the four series cards like that architecture was still in use mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> it wasn't until yeah the, it wasn't until for me kind of dethroned it with the 500 uh series that uh it kind of made a difference but this is the big this is one of the things i keep pointing at whenever people say it's like oh nvidia and linux it's shit yes there's a reason that linus flipped them the bird however when it comes to support I don't remember a single time when AMD ever gave a damn about their legacy stuff. Oh, you can still install Even FGLRX. When they were, mm. Yeah, when they <laughs> still of. had FGLRX going. And nowadays it just said, you know what, fuck FGLRX, fuck all that business. Oh, we no, have no, a proprietary no, no, module no, no. you can load into AMD GPU, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, the, it was the Crimson Driver that still had the FGLRX installer. It still yeah. called everything FGLRX. <laughs> and the right person to get... There's another way to look at this, though. That is very clearly, well, I guess they're not going to be open sourcing anything soon. Indeed. No. <laughs> oh, no, no. In February, they're going to give a talk about how NVIDIA is going to open source all their, their driver stack. And, and Anyways, you know what? Oh, they're just going to walk out there with like, this picture that I have back here just light it. He was like, ta-da! <laughs> Fireworks behind right. it. Yeah. All right. So uh, some, some people don't want to install Lutris because it's difficult. And Strider's yeah, so hard. Yeah, but because uh, Mini Galaxy, apparently someone saw that, um, well, now the Galaxy 2.0 client is available for GOG. If for some reason you think that it's a good idea to shop for Linux games on GOG. Um, there's the whole DRM free thing, but eh, even that's iffy. Uh, well, now you can install Mini Galaxy version 0.90. And it is... Um, Honestly, I don't get it. I, I don't, because it's like, it, this is just for the native Linux games that are available on GOG, which are few and far between, and when you take that into account, isn't Lutris better than this in just about every single way? Because, uh, okay, Lutris doesn't allow you to uh, just do the incremental updates like the actual Galaxy client does, but neither does uh, Mini Galaxy. And um, if you're not online at all, um, this uh, Mini Galaxy client doesn't work. Yeah. At all. So, I, I mean, and this is basically it. It only works for Linux native games. Uh, you can view, install, and launch them, but you can't uninstall them, though. You still gotta bust out the old RM command. <laughs> you get fed up with playing... Seriously! Um... What's the point? <laughs> yeah. Hard mode, man. Love a little. Come on. <laughs> It's like, I mean, okay, I don't want to give Strider um, any more credit than he's due, but he is due a lot of credit when it comes to Lutris. He's due about um, $25,000 worth of credit, apparently. Yeah, he is, and credit, you know, uh, epic money is uh, just as good as any money. Uh, eh, what the hell? Why not contribute this UI, if that is that is your goal, why not contribute that to Lutris? Instead. Maybe he tried. It's under closed one fix. Um, one of the things <laughs> that I, I'm very that happy a lot that, of that. <laughs> that that makes me every time Gog posts like, "Oh, we're getting ready to release a new public beta of 2.0 and all." Twitter still, all my brothers and sisters out there are lighting them up. I'm like, "What about the Linux client?" And I'm like, "What? No, shut up. No Witcher. Smoke <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gog. Thanks, Tuxgard." <sighs> It's thing 1.1 RC1V. We were all happy last year when we finally got some of that sweet, sweet multiplayer all over our face, chest, and neck. But 1.1 brings a couple of new things to the table. To me, I was like, oh, look, IPv6 support. I'm very happy about that. And, uh, you know, they're talking about, you know, adding a lot of polish to this, you know, fixing things, not really ripping anything out, not adding anything big, nothing sparkly, nothing terribly sexy. But... With the UI enhancements and all that, what I really, really, really want to see is not emojis, but they are now supported when chatting in servers. I know that was driving some people just, they're like, I can't play the game. But if you can get past that glaring omission, which has now been fixed, I would like to see the uh, not totes, not rocket league map. The football. <laughs> like, put a little love into that because that, that could that, use some love. Yeah, <laughs> it, it seems so delightfully ripe 
for fuckery. Oh yeah, no, and they have they have a nice framework for adding like additional game modes now. So that's the nice thing about open source is people can just do it. Um, and yeah, the the deal with one point one is now that people have been like slamming on network multiplayer for a while, they've found some optimizations. They figured out what's wrong. They're gonna fix it, which is nice. They're also looking at uh, dual licensing Super Tux cards so they can distribute it over Steam. That'll be nice when that finally happens. That'll make it a lot nicer than like. Do I, did I keep that something? No, I didn't. All right, let's go clone that. Let's build it. And, no, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a flat pack. I mean, there's... there's a snap. Wait, is there a snap? There's probably an app image. <laughs> there, 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 there's, there's an iOS app for that. They also, they also have some high DPI fixes and a new spoopy level. Ooh. Just in time for the new year. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> listen, the future and is terrifying. Listen, man, they're getting ahead of some shit. I mean, yeah. Yeah, and uh, one of the things that Jordan mentioned was uh, the actually, you know, fixing everything so they can more easily distribute it uh, over Steam, do, going for the dual license type of situation. And that reminded me, it's like, yeah, it, it, the, the game was on Greenlight at one point, and it got Greenlit. Mm-hmm. So, it's been a while. Uh, it got Greenlit back in 2017. Licensing. G- I, it's two years. <laughs> G- the GPL and Steam don't play. Dude, either. it. Okay. Come on, man. It took like 13 years. Well, to get Valve did specifically say um, it's like no, uh, no part of the Steam client can uh, be affected by GPL if Linux distros were to include the Steam client in their repos. So, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Licensing. Okay. Yes. Emulators. <laughs> He got Stroke. Version one dot seven or one oh seven is released. It's you can you have to you have to build it yourself. Pedro went through that effort. I did not. Um, so <laughs> TIL, what a, what the hell a Hegan is? It's a multi system emulator. It can do Sega CD, it can do Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, MSX, SG one hundred, ColecoVision, uh, and Wonderswan, uh, as well as some uh-huh. SNES and Game no plans for thirty two X support. Boo, boo. No. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there, there's also, this release comes with a brand new UI that needs some testing. Uh, the guy recommends if you don't want to fuck around with the new UI, stick with the old version. Um, I was so, I, I brought I brought this up in the, uh, I brought this up in the, um, in between show, the, in whatever segment, I forgot. <laughs> that what one, yeah. Called. That one. The thing where we're not recording this part that you're watching right now in the produced version. Um, yeah, so um, this guy, um, through his work on Hegan, um, he actually uh, did some emulation for a sound chip. Um, that Stephen Hawking's uh, vo- vocalizer was using. And when they stopped producing it, um, Stephen Hawking was actually using the extracted code from Hegan to speak to people in the last couple of years of his life, which I thought was kind of a neat little thing. It is. This, this, it, it, it's a nice touch. And this this goes to show you why doing the sort of legacy emulation is super important because there's still a lot of old software in use today by people who need it. Yep, and um, you know, Higan in in its defense, uh, the developer does say it's like, this is my own project. I'm doing my own thing. I want something to be, that is able to emulate these systems, and that's it. Uh, so if you want more, go look somewhere else. Uh, but I did, you know, it's like okay. So they have a Windows download, the Mac OS download, then they have the source code. It's like all right, fine, whatevs. You don't have the pre-compiled uh, Linux binaries. I'll just build it myself. And then I cloned the Git, and it's like, um, where's the instructions? Oh, it's buried in the docs. Install Linux. Cool, right? I found it. It's like, oh, uh, that's going to require a lot of um, dependencies. Let's just go. Oh, there we go. There's the uh, <laughs> there's the Linux binaries in a completely different website that you actually need to click through, and you'll find it. Uh, but yeah, no, they are available and it does work. I didn't have any, um, bin queues for Sega CD. I just downloaded the smallest, uh, ROM I could find for the Neo Geo pocket. And Allegedly. It, it works. <laughs> it no, no, works. no, 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 you got, you got a ROM dumper and you got, you got an old <laughs> Neo Geo cartridge. That's the ticket. <laughs> it yeah. may have been a homebrew. There we, yeah, it's even better. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Side, sidestep that whole thing. <laughs> Snake jazz. Rigel engine, the third. Is it, is, is it Rigel engine yes. or Rigel? 
the third. Uh, it's Rigel. Let's go with Rigel. Rigel! Rigel, check this hey, out! I was making a very um, timely Farscape reference. I got you. I got, I got you, fam. I got you. Uh, but yeah, it's um, if you want to play Duke Nukem 2 uh, with an open source re-implementation, well, Rigel Engine is the engine that is very much working to it. Um, and Beta Not 5.0 is currently available for download. They do say that uh, with this new version, they've implemented the uh, options menu and widescreen mode. And most of the registered version of the game is now playable. But like Ven highlighted there, uh, you require Visual Studio 2019 redistributable. I didn't actually try to build this one from source, but uh, Come on, can we all just stop thing. and appreciate a screenshot of the video? Yes. yes. Play button. <laughs> I guess if you click on the video, it takes you to YouTube. <laughs> I'm scared, man. I don't know. <laughs> well, I've been I've been clicking I've been clicking play for five minutes and nothing's happening. This website sucks. <laughs> but yeah, it is uh, just yeah, Duke Nukem two um, with an open source re implementation, which is all very well and good as far as um, like being able to play old games goes open source re-implementations are probably going to be the way forward because much like nvidia you don't really see AAA game companies dishing out the sauce code for games so where are we at on like the ip for the game engine code i'm not talking about the assets or assets and stuff like that because if a country was to like i don't know how it would feel what, what, where do we land on this? Is like, say, after 15 years, the engine gets to be open source. Like, make that a law. Oh, if you make that into law, Stadia is going to become very popular very quickly. I, I, that's the thing, too, is that engine engine code doesn't always exist in isolation. They license other, they license frameworks from other companies as well. So mm -hmm. how, do, how does that work? Do you, do you have to just provide everything except for the other licensed bits, at which point you have to replace them with open source components? Well, you don't have to replace or... them with shit. You just release what... No, you... I, I, I meant like so, someone who wanted to use it would have to. Oh, yeah, they would. I mean, yeah, other people's IP. Yeah, and if you... I, I'm looking even at Even if it... you release just your the source code on your end mm -hmm. that works with those APIs for that middleware, all of a sudden people could figure out a lot about that middleware and... All of a sudden, the people behind that middleware wouldn't be terribly happy with not Never being able to make money. the internet, man. I mean, I'm just <laughs> oh, thinking, yeah, no. when, when I'm saying this, what I'm saying is I'm talking legitimately in an archival mindset. I'm like, to preserve this stuff. It, ideally, uh, yes, that uh, yeah, would in, be in, great, in, in, but it's in, not in a, in a going perfect to happen. World, sure, but we, we don't live in a perfect world. You can look outside. Yeah. <laughs> well, good thing there's emulation. Yeah, good, good thing that exists. RPC, <laughs> There's a lot of RPCS3. That. <laughs> um, this is the progress report for September. You might be thinking, but Jordan, it's almost January. To which I say, I don't write these reports. In fact, volunteers write these reports for RPCS3. And if you want to get them out in a timely manner, you can volunteer your time. Um, but for September, uh, only a couple games were added to the playable list. A couple games were added to the um, in-game list. So, yeah, it's, it's just two. So... There's 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 that. Um, what, what do I have in my notes? Yeah, the the games they have working currently are just a bunch of sports games uh, like uh, NBA and Top Spin, NCAA football. Is that uh, near? Yeah, it's the uh, it's the first near. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that 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 they they fixed some post processing effects in that as well. Um, but yeah, uh, the big thing here is better USB hardware support. So for like Guitar Hero controllers and uh, Skylanders, um, which had like this pedestal where you had to go buy toys separately and scan the toys to get like the units in the game. Uh, now, now you can just emulate all that shit. So if you're a big Skylanders fan and you don't want to spend money, our PCS3 is the way to go. Um, yeah, they also have the first Thor game for the movie tie-in thing that, that that's playable as well. Um, there was, yeah, so it was the visual post-processing USB support, um, and I think that was, I think that was it. Yeah, the, the, the USB uh, one was, like, the big one that happened in September, and uh, I added this to the notes because it's like, wait a second, this is December, why are they releasing the September? Oh, okay. 
It's all done by volunteers, apparently. <laughs> yes. So that's that's the thing. You should support these guys on Patreon because they're doing amazing yeah. work. Um, you should if you if you're willing to volunteer, give them give them yep. the ring because it's just like three developers right now who are mm -hmm. hacking away at this sure. trying to get it up and running. Um, yeah. I mean, documentation too. That's always something people always forget. I mean, they would probably love to have, you know, the documentation like translated to Canadian. Or, you know. Oh yeah, or um, or um, public relations. Like mm -hmm. a lot of you know, you know what? A lot of open source projects need good PR people to you know make people aware of the things that they are doing. Sharon, yes. I will <laughs> say that is an awesome project. I'm fascinated with it, and it's a better love story than CMU. You know, I know they're completely different things, but I just don't like emulators <laughs> in general. But this one, if I was to like them, this is, this is be my day. All right. Yeah, I'm, being, I'm actually doing a lot uh, mm -hmm. for actually just being able to emulate the uh, architecture of the PS3 and ha you heard the stories probably back in the day where people were having all these issues like game developers actually getting their games to work on that architecture and you have an example like Skyrim on the PS3, where the dragons flew backwards. It's a better love story than the Xbox 360. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. But, but between between these guys and Dolphin, it, they're they're doing some pretty good work. Coming oh, up yeah. next, we're throwing chairs at Heckblade. Sam, Samuel Samuel Snacks. Samuel Hack. Snackson. Snacks. I want snacks. Give me snacks. No snacks for you. Oh. No, I am Danger Noodle. I are Danger Noodle. It's <laughs> sequel to I Am Weasel. <laughs> yeah, public domain code. I, man, I am not. Like, go make new laws. But that, like, I think 15 I years is fair. I th re really for like MMOs and like online games that mm -hmm. depend on like a lot of backend server stuff. Yeah, Th that 100% should be open source if they're going to kill the game. They straight uh, up pass something like that um in the states here. Mm. One of the things I would like is say you have an online only game. And um, let's say pe some people actually enjoy playing the game, regardless of the online component, and then the servers go down and now the game is dead, and even if you still have the client installed on your end, it it's dead, you can't fucking do it. That's not cool. Hey, man. That's not cool at all. <laughs> it's a wonderful experience. Uh, what was the, the bat Batman, the goddamn Batman Arkham Origins, like, had a multiplayer... Like deathmatch, that was by all accounts stupid fun. It's just gone. Mm -hmm. The buttons are still there. They they couldn't even be asked to remove the option from the game. It just tells you it can't connect. <laughs> Man, you know what? If you want a pet snake, get a pet snake. But don't ever say it bit me, because it's gonna bite you <laughs> at some point. No you... shit. <laughs> I mean, just get the snakes that don't have teeth. I don't want to get gummed by a snake. I do. Then buy one. Oh, they're a pain in the ass to take care of. <laughs> get taken for walks. Snack. Actually, actually, snakes love me because I exude a ton of body heat. They just like to hang out on my shoulders. <laughs> yes. I love you, heated rock. Well, they're incapable of love because they're reptiles. Just in case we get some reptile overlords crawling out of the center of the earth, man. I'm not on his side. Listen, man, I'm on Team Robot. When it comes to robots versus reptiles, the robots will win. I like Don't animals in general. Yes. If animals take over the world, it's like, cool, I'm on Team Animal. That's fine. The snake sounds like I, something I, I you could manage. I do on Team Animal. He's my favorite Muppet. Mm. <laughs> snake, snake. Don't eat drums, beat drums. <laughs> Dude, they did some deep cuts with like Hitler Snake. <laughs> when Hitler Snake was giving the speech, they had a what's his name? 
who wasn't giving the salute in the audience. Speaking, speaking of Snake uh, Jazz, do we get a new Rick and Morty this week? Mm, I'm not hopeful. I assumed it was going to be off for, until the holiday bullshit was done. No. No Rick and Morty this week. I Apparently know. not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're only getting uh, half a season. Hmm. Snake jazz. <laughs> also, also, five straight minutes of snakes hissing back and forth is still the stupidest thing. <laughs> By the way, vote.linuxgamecast.com. <laughs> vote on some stupid things. What the you, show what, titles. What, what, what are you trying to throw down? Like a challenge gauntlet hissing snakes for five minutes or vote.linuxgamecast.com. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's just do that for the chair acquisition, right? Just be like... Why not? <laughs> Shoulder mount. <laughs> Stadia is popular. <laughs> Fred's not <laughs> dead. <laughs> Cocaine Christmas. And hello. Well. Linux yoga Daisy pants. Daisy yoga briefly. pants. All right. What I said was Stadia becomes very popular. Because <laughs> then it's like, you don't even have the client now, bitch. <laughs> It's in beer. It's beer. <laughs> I, I paid one hundred and twenty dollars for beer. They're not going to cancel. I paid one hundred and thirty dollars for a controller <laughs> that apparently is really shit. Mm -hmm. it kind of I mean, that's what Scott did. It's Scott <laughs> said, it "Ain't so." <laughs> I don't know. Huh? I don't know why I put the hood on. I still need to go get beer. See, <laughs> I, I didn't think Scott had Stadia. No, I was talking about the <laughs> Xbox controller that he spent two hundred dollars on. Yeah, that I have issues. I, I have equal issues with that. I, uh, you know what? Like, I, pff, there is a slightly alternate universe where I could somehow justify that. Stadia, I don't think I could ever wrap my mind around. Like, that's that's not going to work yet. Like, you can at least use that as a controller. The Stadia thing, you're just going to f*** with, man. Like, what else do you use it for? Personal massage. No, 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 no. I have spiders for that. You got some strong-ass spiders. I, they don't... They're just heavy. They're not strong. What are you, what are you feeding them, lead? <laughs> no, for any spider advocacy group watching, I'm not. I don't know. I... As much as it pains me to say, man, like the Xbox, what is this, the 360? Wireless? I don't know if it's necessarily a good controller or it's just the fact that everything is I mean I don't like like the big Humpty on the back mm. but you know it takes double A batteries there's nothing special to it pop it in pop it out but everything it doesn't require you to traumatize your thumbs true um, it's a little small but <laughs> but everything has the correct button prompts for this this is like if you just know it's going to work you pick this damn thing up As uh, someone with two very uneven hands, when it comes to the Steam controller, the best way I found to play it was to lay it on the table. <laughs> Lick it. And, uh, it or just like table. have the, just hold it with my left hand and then the right hand is very floaty around it to hit yeah. all the buttons. The tongue pad <laughs> on the right side? Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> and, um,. To play like first person shooters or any kind of game that requires movement, one of the things I noticed that works really well, and it's the one custom um, thing that I have, is I set the right areola to be movement, that way I can use my right hand for the movement, and then I bound all of the face buttons to the left areola, and the um, 
left analog stick usually doesn't do anything. Dude, the <laughs> left pad on the Steam thing is the most unused piece of equipment ever put on anything in the history of ever. Right. <laughs> if, 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 if you use the default bindings for XCOM, they use this for, like, the camera controls, mm -hmm. and it kind of works. Yeah, it... The... Its big selling point was being able to rebind everything, but then Steam went like, you know what? Everybody, let's just let rebinding. everyone you rebind, rebind everything on all the controllers. You better have that so. shit disabled for Rocket League. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Rocket League has had Steam input in beta. If you go to the options, uh, it's like Steam input enabled or disabled. Mm. It's like that's been there oh. for a while and it's never How, how long? <laughs> How long do you think until old Tim removes that option? Two months. December, January. I am saying by the end of February, we're going to start seeing some rocket fuckery. Like version mismatches and shit like that. Oh, it came out on the Epic Store first. Oh, <laughs> We've redone you know the game on Unreal Engine 4. <laughs> Step one. That's very likely, yes. <laughs> But one of the things that, I don't know, it's, the game itself is so established on Steam, <laughs> they would be, <laughs> uh, they would stir up a lot. But actually, um... One of the things I noticed is that uh, ever since Valve put out the uh, remote play together and a couple of other, like, the last few bits of news that they've released, the Epic Store has been really quiet. There really hasn't been anything coming out about the Epic Store. Because they started paying press outlets to not say anything. <laughs> I wouldn't put it know. past him, but yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> People also forget that, like, while, while the internet may never forget their attention spans about the length of, like, a micrometer. It's like you've seen, like, the end of your, um, best game of, uh, 2019, and there's a definite lack of Metro, well, there's a definite lack of Borderlands 3, there's a definite lack of Well, so, 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 here, 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 here's the Galaxy Brain <laughs> thing. You can't have a best-selling game if you give it away for free. <laughs> Oh, no, no, if you're on Steam and you have a free-to-play game, <laughs> then it could very well end up being a bestseller. <laughs> I don't know. I hope uh, old Timmy boy does something that isn't, you know... <laughs> buying exclusives. <laughs> well, they bought Strider. Yeah, they bought Strider. They bought Krita. Um You see, that's else? the problem. I don't think they know what they invested in. Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope they kept the receipt is all I'm saying. <laughs> Dude. Right. Wait, um... so you're saying that you blew that in... <laughs> I mean, he, he did blow all that. How did you... Seriously, you spit on crepes. On fucking <laughs> crepes. I mean, I... There were like I was, two was, bottles of wine in there. And two, weed. Two, two bottles of wine and like four pounds of cannabis. <laughs> hey, man, there's nothing wrong with anything in Blender the atrocious UI. It's better, it's less atrocious. Oh yeah. With your um automatic show nototron. We're not getting any um line breaks between the uh, stories on 
WordPress just started doing that. Like That's even a, like I, I've been going in and adding new line breaks. That doesn't work. That stuff. doesn't fix it. Yeah. Like if you add there's, the, there's there's no automatic show notatron. I am the automatic show notatron. Well, whatever in that copy paste job, because the only way I found to add the spaces is to like go in and add the br tags and the... no 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 well yeah there's that and i was like that's not manageable as uh, to do a space add a bullet point remove a bullet point mm. and that makes it a space like when you hit preview it'll still be there all right I'll give that a shot yeah that, that that's that's a wordpress thing because like even even just using the wizard again the ferret ignores that shit Oh, yeah. nice, Justin. <laughs> Where did you get a screenshot? <laughs> Mac Mini late 2012. That's like the last good one. <laughs> I wonder what like the um, power PC. Ago. What? No, they, yeah, they were. Did, they did make a Mac Mini with like a risk at it, didn't they? No. Were they all x86? They were, yeah, you might be thinking of Apple TV. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. What is it? Could you hack the Apple TV? Because whatever I'm thinking of, you could stick around with. Honestly, the, mini, the minis weren't too bad. I genuinely conflate in my head the Apple TV and the Mac Mini, but they're kind of the same thing, aren't they? No. No, the, the, the mini is like an actual computer. We were using them for uh, iOS build farms. Mm. They, they won't sell you a server anymore, and you gotta, <laughs> you gotta use you gotta use a Mac to do iOS builds. <sighs> Apple, Xserve, baby. <laughs> you know, uh, Justin. I'm pretty sure that's heresy at this point. You're on the Linux Gamecast Discord server in a Mac. <laughs> I mean, his, his his name's Mac Geek, right? What you yeah, fair, about? yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's not like he's trying to sneak in here Wile E. Coyote style with, like, a penguin <laughs> mask on. Um, Don't give people ideas. No, I want people to try this. I knew you do. Linux, Nero, I've been using Discord in a Chromebook for a long time. <laughs> oh, I like the red with the brown. That works. All right. <sighs> Red and brown. It, red and brown, baby. Color of my poop. A little bit of gold. All right. Let's squeeze this one out in three, two. Squeeze it hard. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where the accused must survive trial by Fedora. Neon, Debian, and only then can the question be asked. Is it fun for the last Chairquisition of the year of 2019? We're taking a look at Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice by Ninja Theory, done on Unreal Engine 4. You can pick it. You could have, you, if you were like us and you picked it up on sale for 10 bucks. If you have some cheap nice. bastards. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Other, otherwise, it's going to set you back about 30 bucks. Uh, from the makers of Heavenly Sword, Enslaved Odyssey to the West, DMC, Devil May Cry, comes a warrior's brutal journey into myth and madness set in the Viking Age. A broken Celtic warrior em embarks on a haunting vision quest into Viking Hell, which is just hell with one L. Viking. Um, to find the soul of her dead louver. Oh, shit. Uh, yep, no no mandatory disclosure. Like I said, we all bought this on sale because it was dirt cheap. Dude, is there an award this game did not win? Best puzzle solving. Yeah. We'll get, right. we'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll get to that. Anyway, how, how did it work on Ubuntu, Ven? Dude, over here on uh, Ubuntu 10.2, the new hotness. <laughs> Our, uh, Fucking Debian, whatever. <laughs> I was running Ubuntu for a minute there, man. Why did you crush my dreams? Because that's what I do. I crush on your dreams. Okay, fine. Now I'm All on right. Debian 10.2. Like, smack uh, on your buns. 1920x, 32 gigs of RAM, 2060. Not wearing a cape, just the regular unleaded version. It's a one-click install with the old Proton 411-11. That's the current version. If you're playing the home game... Uh, again, on the capeless 2060, it swings between 65 and 75, but that's with everything slammed all the way to 11 and, um, at 1080p, because that, that's kind of where, I, you know, the performance I expect is an Unreal Engine 4 joint, so fair enough. They 
you know, the graphics look at them and they work, but this is kind of one of those deals where you can't tell if you're experiencing any glitches non-intentionally <laughs> because it's one of those games. You know what I'm uh, talking Observer about. Observer was rife with that. Oh, dude, yeah. that one just fucked with you hard. This one, you're like, oh, it's kind of part of the thing. The It does contain, fair warning, a bunch of wooski motion blur and uh, blinky bink lights. So if that makes your little tum-tum hurt, you want to avoid this like an online game that requires EAC, baby. Now, it does a good job being Proton, you know, being one and all that handling windowed and full screen mode. So good on that. Sometimes that can be an issue. And with controls out of the box with the X-Clone and Steamy, didn't automatically work with the PS4 controller, but that's probably something I cocked up, but I didn't try it hard enough because, hey man, let's play this with the X-Clone. Quality assurance, a passing, passing score. And four, cheers. Yeah, so on uh, Fedora 3064-bit, or, no, yeah, it's still 30 on this one, Um, with the i7-6700K, and GTX 1080 Ti. There was a couple nopes when I was messing around with the settings, but like once you actually get into the game proper, I actually had to sit through the um, the intro twice where she's rowing down the stream because like after I got off the boat, I'm like, I'm gonna knock this to 1080p. Fatal error. Uh, but you know, once once you get back in game, it worked fine and it actually saved the setting, which is nice. Um, but um yeah performance wise it's it's struggles apparently what i wrote down in the, in the show notes it struggles to uh touch about 40 frames a second at uh, uhd but holds a cool 80 to 88 on the uh, 1080p graphics wise very very pretty i quite like it um and control um works with the dualshock 4 if you're using steam input but 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 and i'll get to this in the fun segment you uh want to change your target with this guy um, you, you can, I didn't try with this guy, which may have fixed it. I don't know, but I'm not going to ding it a chair for it. It gets four. And over here, but, it, um, I think I'm forgetting suit. something. Yeah. Yes. Uh, on, um, KD Neon, uh, it, uh, works out of the box and on, um, KD Neon on El Cheapo, it also works out of the box. So that's an i5-34, uh, 3470 and um an amd rx 570 as well as the uh, ryzen 3700x and the gtx 1080 so both those configurations worked out of the box uh over here uh on this box it holds around 60 ish 65 and sometimes it comes down to like 57 56 um at 2560 by 1440 even with v-sync off so that's not an issue and v-sync in this game actually does lock it uh, if i put it down to like uh 1080p it does lock it at 144 hertz so that's good uh, on El Cheapo, it holds around 40-ish at 1080p. Um, there's some herky-jerks during the set-piece transitions, like this cutscene that you're looking at right now. Um, graphics, yeah, it's hard to tell what shouldn't and should be there. Um, I usually don't care about the chromatic aberration effect in games. I don't usually notice it, but I noticed it here. I also noticed a god uh, god awful motion blur, but you can turn both of those off by pushing the post processing down to low, but that also brings the uh, anti aliasing down considerably. Um, I ended up just going to the config file and disabling those, but they do give you an option to disable them. It's just not very uh, evident as to what it may be. Controls uh, with a seam controller, it works out of the box, no issues whatsoever. Uh, with the DualShock 4, like Jordan already mentioned, you need to enable Steam input for it to pick up properly. So there's that. But it does work, so four chairs. Oh, well, there you go. Heckblade is a heckin' good time if you're trying to get it up and running. But is it fun? Eyeballs. Um, man, I'm trying to remember what's going on in this cutscene. Uh... She's being she's eaten, <laughs> being eaten by Volrovin. Yep. Oh, <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. Uh, check it out. So, brass tacks, you can vin your way through this. You can make a V-line straight through this game in about 11 hours, and that's not going full force. That's taking the time to listen to some of the lore and, you know, check out the scenery. But at its core, get ready to spill up your redrives, Hellblade is what it is, man. It's kind of a walking simulator. I mean, it's very narrowly focused. You know, anyone familiar with 
what's required to deliver the level of visuals that this game does, you kind of assume that you're going to be in a tight, narrow path. Just what's required to render that. But let's not start hating on it because Ninja Theory, small team managed to deliver top-notch visuals, sound design, and most importantly, Picard.jpg or GIF acting, man. Uh, not to mention a compelling story about delivering Bay's head organ, that's your boy on your back right there, to the underworld because reasons. I love this boss. Um, really got my hopes up <laughs> when I played this. Uh, first two hours, genuinely some of the best gameplay, like as a whole, that I've experienced in recent memory. One of the reasons we're taking a look at this. But kind of the downsides here, that two hours is going to repeat itself over, 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 keep going, more overs. And yeah, over. It goes like this, man. You, you, you walk. You're going to walk some more. You're going to telepathically communicate with some rocks and visually align some shit and occasionally walk through a circle. Sounds about right. That's about right. Oh, you can sometimes stab as you're witnessing right here. But on the topic of stabbing, it's hella simple, but completely serviceable, man. You get your light attack. You get a heavy attack mixed with like a kick, which will get you dead because the timing on that kick's a pain in the ass. Oh, the, the, the wind up, man. Yeah. The wind up. Yep. But you can dodge. You can parry. And, uh, I mean, it works. It's nothing fancy, but it has weight to it. And you know, impact when you're slashing and kicking occasionally, it gets the job done. But you know what? By the end of this ride, you're going to be sick. Well, you're going to like the combat, but what you're going to be sick of is finding new and creative ways to align random shapes, because that's really all this outside of the great story. Gameplay, that's it. I mean, you will be seeing more of this, more, because that's what it is. More of this. But you know what? With all the flaws, I liked it. I did. I look forward to seeing what Ninja Theory comes up with the next one. If you watched our live stream, when this came up, I'm like, yes. Okay. I, I'll take this one. This one's good for what it is. You know, it's interactive story. It was some pretty decent combat. This next one, I'm really excited to see what they do. I'm going to say, you know what? Catch this on sale, you know, for 10 quid. It's worth the price of admission. If you know what it is, going into it. So, you know, all that said, I'm going to give it a sort of one, man. I, I think I'm comfortable. I could probably give it a three if maybe we saw some more puzzle variety, character development, like new weapons or abilities and skills. It's just not there in this first one, but I think it might be in the second. Yeah, um, so Hellblade has a really strong narrative, and unfortunately, it's kind of spoon-fed to you in a linear manner. Um, and if that if that's your thing, that good good for you. That's not necessarily my thing. I I really would have liked a lot more variety in the kind of stuff you can explore because, like, the best I found was there there was there was a secret that was basically just one of those rune stones that has a lore dump for a bunch mm -hmm. of Viking mythology that I already know because I'm a big old geek. Um. And the world is also like very pretty. It's, it's it's like desolate. It's isolating, and I th I th I think they could have played a little. So I I know one of one of one of the one of the big deals with this game is that they worked with a lot of uh, neuroscientists and they worked with a lot of people who actually suffer from psychosis to come up with like um a semi accurate depiction of what people with that kind of psychosis go through. Um, and may maybe mechanizing it uh, beyond what they did would be considered disrespectful. I don't know. As someone who engages in a lot of negative self-talk, um, some 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 of those voices are a little too real, man. A little too real. When uh, when 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 my internal monologue starts agreeing with them, then we we got we got some problems. Um, and yeah, the the puzzle solving is basically just find a way to align the shapes. So many shapes need alignment. <laughs> And sometimes it's like, no, this is the shape that you're looking for. No, but it's not the exact shape that I'm looking for. Um, the, oh, the, did the you run into like the fuck you game? It's aligned. No, yeah, for, the for, angle for, is for... just slightly off. So yeah. fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's definitely that. Also, when you first get into Search Realm, you have to find the N and you have to find the Y. I'm like, there are eight things here that meet this requirement. What the fuck do you want from me, game? Follow the screams. They're my screams, motherfucker. Um, but yeah, um, the combat, I don't know, maybe it was cause I was using the DualShock 4 via Steam input, but I found the fights profoundly unenjoyable simply because once you get to the shield guys, I could not change my target and they were the guy I was locked on. And so I would just get corner fucked 
by the a bit of the Dark Souls camera that th this thing has going on, Pedro. It's like, oh, well, you don't get the full... Uh, you get what? Yeah, Dark Souls is a bit more forgiving with the field of vision. In this game, but it's narrow. <laughs> my point still stands. The camera will fuck you up, especially when you're locked onto the incorrect enemy that you're trying to fight. Uh, see, I couldn't do any of that. I couldn't. I couldn't swap targets. That was. I was just locked on. Um, yeah. So that and was that with the dual shock too. <laughs> weird. I don't know. I don't. So, here's here's the thing though. Is that set piece fights don't usually do it for me. I don't like being trapped in an arena and forced to just fight a bunch of waves of dudes. I prefer games that allow me to sort of like use the terrain to my advantage. Uh, but you know what? Uh, that that's just me. That's uh that's a personal preference thing. Um, the story is fantastic. Uh, it's pretty well acted, and yeah, the the I, I actually kind of like the backseat gamer mechanic because in the in the in the absence of a HUD, the voices, your your furies or whatever, are the ones who like inform you. Oh, you have no health left. Oh, there's someone behind you, and so on and so forth. And I thought that was a neat way to do it. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna give it two chairs. I kind of wish. The combat was a little better and some more puzzle stuff, but this is room for improvement for Hellblade 2, as Ven was saying, so. Might be a thing. Yep. And as much as I like the story, I can't help but feel like the gameplay is a little bit obtuse. You're going to have to do... I first fought this boss. I had my hopes up. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have to do exactly what the game wants you to do in that exact order, and there's no variation you can have whatsoever. Um, it's run until you find a door, solve a quote-unquote puzzle, beat some dudes, and do it again. Uh, there's no point in exploring until you hit one of those doors and you get the chromatic aberration effects all over the place. Um... Yeah, there's no point in exploring at all, and it's linear almost to a fault. Uh, maybe it's to lead you by the nose down the plot that's been set out for Senua. Maybe it's that, yeah, that they didn't have uh, the necessary amount of money uh, to make exploration a thing, so they made it as linear as they could. But being linear doesn't automatically make a game obtuse and the best example i can think of is like half-life 2. it's a linear action game that tells a story without compromising on the gameplay and it tells that story through the gameplay in hellblade by comparison the story is literally told to you it's the voices in your head and um i guess jordan uh could uh, comment on how good the representation of uh, the voices in one's head uh, is in this game. But how full of yourself do you have to be to have one voice actually narrate your life story? At least the bit we get to see uh, in the game. There are like three voices. Yeah, the, the narrator is... Uh, the, that one narrator that sounds very much like Senwa. Uh, she a does a very actress. good job. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, very good job on the actress because she sounds exactly like the main character. Uh, but yeah, it's um, kind of, you know, pull of yourself, that one, but whatevs. Uh, it is a good story, and it is one I will see, true, uh, th see through, uh, but as a video game, it could have been done better. Kind of like my attempt to read what I wrote in the show notes there. Uh, but it does look pretty good, and it sounds amazing. And while the combat is very much a bit stilted, it's like budget Dark Souls with a much narrower field of view, um, it's still pretty fun. And I didn't hate it at all, so three chairs. Yeah, well, there you go. It's, it's all right. And if you can get it on sale for cheap should definitely pick it up it's definitely worth it man um also a full disclaimer the game looks a lot better when you have like all the bad shit flying around in it with the um motion blur and everything else yeah no Pedro's motion blur video doesn't is look a good. very sterile experience because you're blind Mo motion blur does not look good it, i still left chromatic aberration on for the recording of this video but i disabled motion blur this, this gets, looks a little it does too not look crisp. good crisp it doesn't have that grit to it it's not, it's not muddy <laughs> yeah it, well you know in like there's never even the cutscenes. everything's in engine in this game so oh absolutely absolutely yep. yeah was like like all, 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 all the all the face tracking stuff is like super well done. You know the uh, lady I was watching a thing uh, 
that did the mocap for her, she's got like a straight up Nordic accent, man. Like, I was like, damn, why did they use your voice? Oh, no, they find well, well, the right actress to uh, well, well, play well, Senua. So, <laughs> so that's, that's the thing, though. Uh, Senua, Senua's a picked, which means she's Irish. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. <laughs> Deedly D potatoes. Up next, we got we got a larger ish hate mail segment to close off the year. That's nice. Uh, we learn about the perils of Java in the next game comes. Java, Java the drink. <laughs> no, no. I completely forgot to put on the hood before we started this. <laughs> Java Creek. Thought you had it on. Thank you, Frosty. How much are Kylo Ren masks? Like good ones. Actually, I know someone who owns one. I can ask her. Are they stupid expensive? It, I, I guess it depends if you get like a cheap plastic one or like a well-made one. Some that look good on camera. Uh, Kylo Ren mask. Walmart. <laughs> on Amazon. 15 bucks. 15 bucks? Uh... They got they got a metal looking one for about fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. This could happen. Oh, I was thinking about getting us some show props, some Kylo Ven. Kylo Ven. I'll, I'll 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 be Chewbacca. I'll Too go, real. I was gonna make you a stormtrooper. That's racist. <laughs> Only in Canada. The rest of the world's okay with stormtroopers. <laughs> the Jews aren't. Um. Keep mine in that, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> you, you, you mined it for fucking four years, so I don't know. I should get some mileage out of it. Vote down. Hell, 30 pounds for the full helmet. Huh. <laughs> I, I guess they made enough of them. Like, they, they were expecting them to sell, so. I, I kind of figured everyone who's bought one's bought one. I mean, children watch Star Wars, right? No. Only only adults. Pretty much. <laughs> According to the internet, the ones complaining about it, kids are like, hey, look, movie, light things, pew, pew, ah, oh, robot. <laughs> Yay, credits. Yeah, kids are fucking stupid. <laughs> Guess what they think. <laughs> the regular people, like, looking at the picture, like, Mike put up there is like, yes, that's actually a throwback traditional Japanese way of welding. Um, it's an art style. And I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, uh, what was it? Wab Wabi Sabi or something? Uh, it's or normally like, done with gold. It's, 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 it, it starts with, like, a K, yeah, where they, they uh, shatter pottery and they use gold uh, solder to rebuild it. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, so well, I need to add yoga pants to my... Um... <laughs> Oh no! I, I I was right. Wabi Wabi Sabi is like the 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 term to describe like the 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 beauty of fragility and brokenness or something. Mm. I was right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I, I, oh I, I thought it was just gonna be like two halves of his face facing like the opposite direction no, no baby i can like, show I... you some side leg <laughs> side, i like how the mouth is on the side <laughs> dude they go up to the, the but, no, pants, no, but, 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 but these, these are women's sizes though so i don't know what the fuck that actually is i i'm pretty sure i could Squeeze into an XL. Ultra HD graph, handmade in California too. <laughs> you, might, you might want to wash it first before putting it on. Is possibly? <laughs> yeah, it's possibly. handmade. No I don't know how sticky those hands are. Mm. I don't know. The problem is, Linda, that I can't. Or maybe I can. I don't know. 
Maybe you can. Um, Frank, no, man. Frank always starts some shit. He's a bit rough at first. I remind him that he goes to sleep before I do. That always settles that bullshit. <laughs> you would think threatening a skeleton, an undead being, would be difficult. You'd be wrong. That's because Frank's kind of a pushover. That, that and a crippling fear of Twizzlers. Don't ask. Yeah, I hear you sobbing back there, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Frank. I don't know. Wait, what size yoga pants would you normally wear? So, uh, these sort I mean, of pants, my waist uh, is anywhere between a 32 and a 34. Um, uh, my waist is a, my waist is a 46. Hmm. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a 2XL men's sweatpants now. Um, Are they baggy? They, they have a little bit of give, but that's just so I can move them, right? Well, yeah, I'm talking about like, are they, do you have them like tied crazy tight to keep them on? Would they fall Not off? Really. Okay. Not, not, not really, no. <laughs> there. <laughs> I have some yoga pants in my wish list. There's <laughs> uh, <laughs> see Right, I, I better add that. Yoga pants. Men's yoga pants. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh um... those are just sweatpants. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get long? women's yoga pants, or they're just gonna be fucking sweatpants. I'm like, I'm wearing yoga pants. I'm like, no, you're not. No, they're, they're like pants. these ones are like super baggy sweatpants. Yeah, like, uh... yeah. If they're not yoga pants, unless they make that ass pop. Yeah, yeah. we gotta see some popping <laughs> yeah, Jordan get some ass, peach. right? Little hairs protruding okay, through I'll... the material. It's, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> women, women, I'll have to revise yoga. mine then. <laughs> oh, you thought you were just gonna get sweatpants? Ah. Uh -uh. Oh, no, 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 bitch. No, no bitch. Nope. Better start okay, doing some I'm squats, buddy. I'm going to need buddy. to find <laughs> woman's, young, uh, woman's yoga pants, um, 34 inches, waist. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> All right, let's see if they have a, do they have a sizing chart? Let's see. There's got to be. Come on, internet. Um, wait, 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 what, what was the one that you had that had, like, up to the 6XL? Oh, damn it. Send me, send me, send me that one. Ooh, you just got that. Um... Let's see. Size conversion. How to convert women's size? No, I don't need shoes. Uh... <laughs> How good are you, Google, if I threw yoga pants in there? Um, well, like, w women's sizing is its own realm of just, like, complete bullshit. Yep. And it conflicts <laughs> with each other, though. Right. Yeah. So th this is why I'm concerned with putting women's yoga well, pants. Well, this is what I looked up because I my <laughs> leather pants high uh, were sized as women's size because the lady who made them, she's like, yeah, they're size 12. So they're a little bit loose on me. I just looked that up. A 12 is a 34, so I'm probably like a 32. Okay, so an XL um, in uh, woman's size for me. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It's it's a toss-up for me between uh, quadruple, triple, and hextuple. I'm just getting the biggest <laughs> ones I've got, man. I do that with like well, sweatpants well, so, anyway. so like, so that's that's the thing, right? Like, if I'm if I'm going to be wearing yoga pants on stream, as you're saying, I want that ass to pop, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I want. <laughs> so I, I want. I want to like get something that will like, accomplish that, right? So it's it's got to be it's got to be mean, just tight enough that I can wear them, but not too loose. The yoga pants are the easy. Finding the thong is gonna be the pain because <laughs> you don't want to be showing an undie line. Oh no! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna free ball it. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> With some bananas. Are, are you are you guys prepared for Jordan Bulge? I don't think you are. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, uh, on on 
the upper hand, um, the women's sized XL uh, yoga pants are much cheaper than the <laughs> men's ones. <laughs> like, considerably. <laughs> because they actually sell those. <laughs> yeah. Guys go, like, men's yoga, and they're like, wait a minute, that's just sweatpants. Let's go buy some sweatpants. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> See, there we go. That's like the full... <laughs> What did, what did you find, like a Nicolas Cage clothing generator, Mike? You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if that existed. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> See, that's something that, like, Teespring needs to have, is like, we'll, we'll, we'll make your Nicolas Cage stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is hard. okay. So what you what you sent me was the US link. I'm trying to. I don't think they have it on Amazon.ca. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> Can I get tummy control? No. Okay. Oh. No. 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 None of these things are big enough for me. I wonder if they make I the can... Chuck Norris action jeans. We can find some of those. Yeah, they don't they don't have anything over a two X. I'm pretty sure I can't fit in a women's two X. Hmm. Oh shit, you can get fucking MC hammer pants. <laughs> there, that, uh, those are the ones on my uh wish list. <laughs> it has a male model, but it shows up in the women's section, so oh, I don't man. know. But why male models? But why male models? <laughs> but why male models? <laughs> what the fuck's this? Bon oh, they're harem pants. Yeah. Okay. MC MC Hammer pants. No, MC Harem pants. Yep. <laughs> Same thing. Nope. It Maybe is, in Canada. It is. And yeah, I challenge clearly, you to look at all these it. yoga pants. Mm -hmm. Prove me otherwise. <laughs> Prove me otherwise. Because it says hippie in the title. Hippies don't exercise. It says harem pants. <laughs> look, look, look me up a pair of MC Hammer pants. Show, show me what the difference is. Sequins A. You can have sequined hippie pants. <laughs> Hippies love sequins. They're allergic to it. See, I mean, we can clearly see the difference stated by the gold vest. And oh, pants. yeah. <laughs> And the zebra and the zebra stripes, right? Pinks, yeah. <laughs> See, no, no, this that's right. It's got the nice the gold. Same California it's costumes. Same, it's, it's the same fucking pants. <laughs> no, no, no. It cannot it's contain any natural. Cannot pants. contain natural materials. This is like rule number one of hammer pants. All synthetic, all right. the way. You got to be able to rinse these things out quick because sometimes you got to hose them down. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like an it's OSHA like regulation. Suit. <laughs> you need to be able to hose it down. It's, you know, you no, would I'm, think they would do that, right? But I, they I probably mean, don't. You're, you're, you're adding all these hippie requirements. I maintain it's the same, exact same fucking cut of pants. That's great. Exact you, you're welcome to be wrong. Exact I don't judge. Same. You're, you're, you're welcome to move those goalposts, man. All you want. All you want. It's awesome. <laughs> Come over here and land. It, 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 it gives you a good ass workout for those yoga pants. Got to make that ass pop, and you're not going to do it in those hippie pants. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm wearing the hippie pants. I don't I'm know. Just saying you're the one who brought I'm, them up. I'm just saying <laughs> that that's what's that's what shows up when you Amazon.ca search women's yoga pants. Okay. Vote.linuxgamecast.com. <laughs> Vote on some fucking show titles, you ingrates. <laughs> there. Amazon. Amazon.ca. Amazon. That's it. What, what, what size they got? They're yoga pants, dude. They're stretchy. They're 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 not infinitely stretchy. They're not made out of Mister Fantastic. There's XXL. <laughs> uh, XX. Yeah, XXL. I don't think I don't think a two X will do it for me. You don't have to get them around both legs. I just need to have them. I need to buy two pairs and have one on each leg. Arts and crafts, baby. <laughs> These are high on the stretch. I need high see-through pants. 
<laughs> I want to leave nothing to the imagination. Nothing. Okay, Jordan see, wants to bend over and you can see crack. <laughs> they say 6'1", 200 pounds will do I'm a six, normal fit for XXL. I'm 6'1", 300 pounds. Just gotta hold your breath. <laughs> to, to, to shrink my legs? Yep. All right. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't know how your legs work, man. Mine. Mine don't have lungs in them. <laughs> Fucking Canada, lungless legs. <laughs> a bear suit. You gotta have a sexy bear suit. I am a sexy bear suit. You ever Don't seen you a shaved bear? They're horrifying. They are. They're so terrifying. This is like, nope. Okay, this T pin can go uh, F itself. <laughs> oh, how many of those did you cock up? <laughs> One, apparently. Ah. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably done about six or seven, but then again, if you want to like extrapolate. The amount of deep ends. <laughs> That's a fair question. Pedro, hold it up again. How many of these did you do? How many shaved bears? Yes. No, uh, busted crooked ass T pins that folded for no fuck all reason. I only had the one. Oh, okay. Yeah, one. <laughs> so you just get a bum. I'm just like, and I'm like, God. All right, fine. Oh, that, that, that was because it hit, like, I so I have uh, conduits Studs. running through the walls. Ah. So, oh, did you ever run the uh, conduits in your living room? Nope. Fuck no. No. Nah. Still thinking about it? All right. No. Nah. <laughs> Cable loop, man. Cable loop. Head women's jogger running pants. 3X might fit at Jorda. <laughs> Um, these ones don't have a 3X. These are only like extra it. small, small. I mean, we can get an extra small for each foot. If I gotta go on Etsy and, like, find <laughs> someone who makes yoga pants, I'm gonna be very cross. <laughs> Custom yoga pants. Like, what am you I working on Etsy, with? you find people who make everything. Want custom dildos? They'll fucking make him. <laughs> How many custom dildos have you ordered? I don't know. I, we're, we're getting to that, though. We, we're definitely I'm just saying that. that search may have come up at some point. I'm just saying, man. You need I'm, to I'm, quit I'm, creeping on Nori's fucking bank account. I'm just saying. I want to see your credit card it's statement my for the bank month, account, sir. too. It's a joint account. All I'm hearing right now is a lack of denials. <laughs> <laughs> see if Nori's still up. We'll find out in a sec. Yeah, it's three in the morning, probably not. <laughs> That's what you think. Surprise. So just make sure you get that clipped on Twitch, all right? <laughs> what the hell? They have malls in Canada, don't they? I live next to one, yes. Okay. Do you ever go with it? Yes, because my work is actually in like the offices. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do people like still go to them though? Well, you're in Toronto, so that's like a weird like. Just... I, uh, so yeah, so like, um, yes, people people go to there. Um, it's one of those high end shopping centers. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's one of those corporate uh, movie theaters that do the alcohol service. Mm -hmm. Um, there's an old folks home. In down the mall? Street, so, oh. No, down Damn the street. It. So there's, um, so they, they, they're, they're wandering through all the time. Mm -hmm. And, like, the people who work in the office buildings use the shit in the mall. Food they have court? A, they have a, there's a food court. There, there's actually a, there's a grocery store in there that does, like, uh, packaged lunches. I can get, I can get, like, a chicken breast and, like, a side of grilled veggies and some mac and cheese and a giant thing of soup for, like, 12 bucks. And, and two, and two hard boiled eggs. So that's pretty good. They just throw those in. They're like, here you go. No, the, the, I mean, the hard boiled eggs are like 40 cents. All right. All right. I didn't know Sears was still in business. I guess they may be somewhere. Mm. In Canada, apparently. Well, they got rid of the um, targets, didn't they? 
They got, yeah, uh, Tar Tarjay pulled out. Like, uh -huh. Which sucks, because, like, I liked <laughs> going to that target. It was, it was all right. I needed something. Hmm. Sears Canada is dead, dead. All right, yep. that's like regular dead. All right. <laughs> Double dead. Double dead. Double dead. All right, I need to take a piss. I'll All be right. back. My first cell phone service that my parents were paying for came from Sears. I'm a little worried about it now. They sell half woman clothes. Like, like if 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 you're like two faced, but like one of the sides is a lady and one side is a man. I need an unfortunate encounter with a bandsaw. This is what happens when you kids screw around. Yeah. <laughs> you just just cut like live video. There's like fire in the plane going down. It's good times. I haven't seen South Park in so long. I love you, Richard. Come to me, Richard. Ah! Splat. That was great. I'm out of... I have no reason to live because I'm out of nicotine gum. It's a legit, legit issue. I mean, have I? I don't think I've ever had nicotine gum. I've not. Hmm. No. Aw, we're going to have our moment of zen. Let's see. I don't want to do... Mm. Hmm. I must go now. My planet needs me. Or more more likely, I'm that one episode of Rick and Morty where they keep <laughs> splitting the timeline. Damn it. Now I'm tracking Jordan. Let's see if I can... <laughs> what uh, the hell's going on with Jordan? Shut camera? up. I'm sciencing. na 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 Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm getting close. I'm getting in. Oh, no, I got an eye. I got an eye. There it is. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> the worst graphics ever. And let's see if we can go back down. Up. Oh. <laughs> Listen, if you if you could break your timeline via uncertainty then call me fucking Time Cop, man, because I'm all over the place. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What the hell? I don't even know what just happened there. Uh, Neither right. do I. Yep. I can I can see my forehead, and that's it. Okay, let's... <laughs> let's remove the ninja scroll. We're scrolling around. Uh, <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> I was in a wonderful place! There were men in red pajamas with pitchforks, and they were poking my butt. I've been to the North Pole, too. <laughs> mm. Let's get a bow on this one. Why not? Yeah. Well, we'll know my favorite we... Pokemon. Is there any Pokemon game that I could even remotely pretend to enjoy? No. No? Maybe, maybe, maybe Pokken, because it's a fighting game. Mm. Are they all kind of fighting games? No, they're turn-based. Mm. It's good to know turn-based isn't real fighting. Thanks for putting that up. <laughs> I mean, fighting game is a genre. Not fighting game. The fact that you fight. 
So by that by that logic, is Senwa a fighting game because there is fighting in it? Yes. For a month, race sub for Mir. Thank you, Mir. <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep. Yeah. Accidentally clicked. Something. <laughs> he fell. He fell asleep on the subscribe <laughs> button. Right. It happens. He slept for four months. Ladies and gentlemen, the last hate mail segment of 2019. Yay. In three. Whoopity fucking do. Whoop. And I guess this is the end of 2019. And this with it comes the end. the end of the last LGC uh, of 2019. Yeah. And chances are friends. over the past uh, 52 weeks or 51 weeks, as the case may be, um, we probably said something that pissed you off, nope. probably said something that was wrong. Off. I know I did. Uh, <laughs> but you can First totally... First rule of LGC and, Club, never admit you're wrong. Eh, man, I've then, broken that rule double so down many on times. It. Double down on so it. So many times. But uh, you can actually point out when we're wrong or when we're right or when you feel like you'd like to... Uh, let us have a look at your game because for some reason some people f seem to think that that's a good idea I'm just more, you can I'm more, go to linkscamcast.com Scott put the kid down <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's but yes you can go to linkscamcast.com at the contact button that's where you'll find the form that's uh, LGC Weekly is the show you want to send your hate mail to and uh, we'll be happy to feature it right here right now if you do decide to, you know, let us have a look at your game, make sure you include three keys or a build that we can share. Otherwise, we'll just make fun of you. And hey, and you're a beautiful person. You're an awesome person. Thing. If you'd like to come hop on this show, we would like to have you come party with us on a Saturday night and be sexy and sparkly and all that fun stuff. Is that what you're yes. going to say? <laughs> I will be gone for the next and the one after that uh lgc so there's that <laughs> so if you'd like to uh be a part of it you totally can all right go figure fine take on pedro take, take, on, on, pedro. take on pedro when oh are you done <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, damn it we got, we, got, we got our first bit of hate mail from from keegan kagan not sure how to pronounce it Says, Krieger? No, what? no, Krieger. His name is Fisto Roboto. Oh, no. Fully sapient sexual entity. <laughs> Piggy. And the best part is, he's learning. Anyways, uh, this is from Kagan. And they say, no offense, but I've followed you guys for several years. And I gotta say, you're awesome. Awesome. You wound us. How dare you? How dare you? How dare, sir? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Pedro, you, you were happy about it. You, you immediately, like, texted Nori, and you're like, oh my god, they really like me. They like us. They really you like us. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't, man. It was... I didn't know you could move that fast. Uh, no, let's just say that I was looking as you were pasting these links into the show notes. It's like, yes! <laughs> mm. Mm. Like, I don't even need yoga pants for this. <laughs> I just, I, I need, My when, ass when is I... popping out so much right now. What I need is some mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Why do you need mayonnaise? You always say give me mayonnaise. What do you do with all the mayonnaise? <laughs> I make egg salad. You ever try um, Hell Elks? It's a great brand of mayonnaise. See, this is just a picture on a wall <laughs> with some socks. Yes. Written. And then, and then you scroll yes, down. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hoplo. He's like, yo, check this out. Hell Elks is a guy. Wait, what the Hell Elks is a guy to do to be? Oh, I can think of many things morning but enjoy family coffee and me mm. <laughs> ah <laughs> if you have I see pictures someone decided to, <laughs> to use their money wait, wisely <laughs> if, you, if you have photographic evidence of you enjoying me on Twitter, <laughs> feel free we are shameless whores and we definitely post pictures of that yeah Maybe. I what mean, you, think, you can totally enjoy it then. Just uh, don't send us anything that will get us banned off Twitch. I, I mean, I'm, 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 st I'm still dubious <laughs> on the fact that anyone can enjoy them. But you know what? I'll, I, I welcome photographic evidence. There was. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need At least a tweet. 
<laughs> Dude. I mean, I mean, one, what, 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 one is anecdotal. We need more than one. Oh, well, I'll show you Carlos's from last week. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sample size of one. Oh, but uh, while Fen's looking at that, uh, Liz uh, had something to say. Fen, you know, over the years, you've gotten hotter. Damn right. But your co-stars have gotten hairier. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I certainly have. Just listen. We, we are all going to have. Yeah, yeah, Pedro. If you shave Pedro, he looks like he's ten. Maybe. If you shave me, I look like Jesus. <laughs> I think uh, that's very kind of you, Ven. <laughs> ten. Hey, We're still gonna get you into bars. I mean, come on. Um, <laughs> We'll all eventually uh, have the male pattern baldness fairy visit us. So, yeah. Yep. There we go. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> mine's probably going to start like there. There? <laughs> you know, you fucked yourself just then. Now it's going to start like on the uh, A, the other side of your head. And, and... <laughs> no, it, 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 it's going to start here and start slowly like migrating over the top over to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I'm worried. I got a scar running from like here to here. It looks like a really sweet like parting line, but I would never wear my hair like that. So you should like get a little <laughs> tattoo that's just like two eyeballs. Make a There's some stitches. Like mm, that. That'd be fun. But we're not gonna do that because that'd be far uh, work. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, I mean, what, what's your, what's your opinion on head tattoos? While, while we're here, uh, my buddy Matt has a compass on top of his head, but um, he's a bar manager and restaurant manager, and uh, he can get away with it because. Yeah, he's the boss. <laughs> Run your uh, own business, kids. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, man. <laughs> then you can dress however the fuck you want. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you're going to get a tattoo, though, uh, LGC pro tip: get it on your head, because face, if you... face stats, face stats, face stats. Nah, It'd be like stitches. Get 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 a get an AK tattooed like right on your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stitches. I throw that I brick in your face. On that. Now, what you gonna do with it? Wonderful piece of life advice. You know what? I'm going to scroll down. I'm still thinking about Jordan with a face tat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm get the, I'll get the Chakotay. It's got to cue the music for the last time in 2019. Hey, man, we want to thank every single one of you beautiful party people for showing up, hanging out with us. There's nothing better to do. Not even for us, like right now. You're like, geez, man, come on. Hurry up, New Year's. We will uh, be back next week, same moon time, nine no eight thirty Eastern Standard Time. If you want some of that nonsense, uh, scream at Vin Stone. I'm always there and in your belly at Vin Stone on uh, Twitter. It's a thing. It's kind of beautiful. I'm not in your belly, but you can find me in your other organs. I am Jordan Swung. You can find me on Twitter at the Burning Fool. Occasionally on our Mastodon at MastodonXGameCast.com. I'm Pro Joe. And this guy, you can find your toilet. Thankfully, you can't find me in any of your organs. But yes, like Jordan mentioned, you can find me in your toilet. God damn you, I was going to go there. Well, I am ah at Unaccounted4 on Twitter. Or, well, you can't really say plus but with those anymore. That doesn't exist anymore. In, in our hearts, Google Plus exists. <laughs> Try doing a show with two people it's definitely dead. allergic to social media. It's awesome. <laughs> Dino. <Dive. laughs> We're going to roll some credits. And thank you. Because you are making it possible. There was way too little smooching for this episode. Gotta, gotta save something for the New Year's. Like yoga yeah, pants. Yeah, definitely not enough sexy in this one. Yeah, y'all you, can kiss my ass. I gotta thank all the Patreons, especially our executive producers like Artherin and Miss Foxdog and Chemti and the Atomic Ass and Michael G. You got Barbrandt, you got Aldeus, Haplo, Mac Geek, and Scoot. <laughs> and just the regular producers who we love slightly less, like Jupiter Broadcasting, <laughs> and um, He's Strider, <laughs> and uh, Penny, Pennywise, the Sildat, Colin Ryan, Vlownir, other, 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 the, other, the other Ryan, Nick, the other Jordan, Joe Angel, Pablo, Mr. Alert, Mr. Alert <laughs> Rohit, Masavoni, Yabo, Zoe, Blam, and the Mas um, Masavoni Grayson, again, bullets, Jack, Jer Mini Jer Jack, Jack, happens now, Grazo, Masavoni, Dirty Dean, Gonzo 2000, Jillian, Brock, Belric, Carl, Carl, 
That's not Coral. Not enough baby hands. Coral. Whitey's gotta pay. We got, we, we, got, we, got, we got no fucks to give this week? Apparently not. <laughs> Fuck has been we're, reset, we're, bitch. When are you gonna we're, get we're that we're, there? we're out of fucks oh, for 2019. Yeah. <laughs> It's the happened. fuck wall is behind Ven now. It's uh, <laughs> that's the one that you, matters. <laughs> you can use it to creep on what he's looking at. Carl, Mike G. I need to get you one. And Basil. I'll I'll just hang it up crooked and then leave it there forever. <laughs> that's great. And see. All right, it's Wednesday now. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go shrink about 50 feet and I don't know. Inhale a bunch of helium. Jordan, don't don't hurt yourself, baby. We got you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Too real. Tee hee hee. Tee hee hee hee. Nailing it. Better click back in place. Good. Yeah, it does. All right. I'll be back. Okay, so do you want someone to cover for me next week? For this show? Yes. When are you leaving? I will still be here for LWDW, uh, just not this show, and then the weekend after that. <laughs> mm, I don't think we need anybody on Wednesday. We got anybody want to do the show? Well, next week, I'm thinking we might just do like the best games. Of 2019. I'm not 100%. How about I wait until the last minute and tell you? <laughs> Sound like a plan? That's on you then. <laughs> no, it's not on me. It's your responsibility. <laughs> I mean, I can ask someone to do it. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Jill didn't mention that she couldn't do this first one, but for the weekend after, she can. So. We will see. Like I said, we wait a little close to the last minute. You're the one who said on Wednesday that you didn't know if you needed anyone. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm going to let you stay up a couple of nights thinking about it. <laughs> Foxy, I think you just volunteered on that one. <laughs> I'll poke you tomorrow, Foxy. Eh, we might get Foxy. Might not. He's falling asleep a lot. I don't know if he can make it through a chair position. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be back on the 18th. Yes, the 18th. Mm. Yeah, there's no point in trying to get you arrested. I mean, outside of, like, just for the lulls, but... <laughs> I mean, for the lulls, you could probably do it, but... <laughs> In Portugal, it might be a bit harder. Is that a challenge? <laughs> I'm just saying, my dad works in law enforcement. <laughs> Push comes to shove, I'll call him. <laughs> I mean, like, if the, if the choice is like, oh, son's got to stay locked up versus... He doesn't, but if he does, hey, you want a new car? <laughs> I mean, if you want to buy him a new car, you go ahead. He has a pickup. He has um, something to go dirt racing in. And he has a responsible car. So that's who you're dealing with. <laughs> Let's get him some others. <laughs> So we're gonna run through it tonight. Eleven o'clock, that's not bad.
I don't know. I don't think I could go back to wearing rings. Couldn't in here anyway. This one, just because it has Nori's name on the inside, that's it. Mm. <laughs> that's how they'll identify the corpse. Got it. <laughs> I mean, they're going to think my name is Anna, but all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got plenty of rings, man. I still wear them. Yeah. When I buy um, Nori's ring, I'll get one for myself too. So just so. Mike is. They look You want to be fabulous with a diamond? <laughs> no, no, no. See, hers is going to be all nice. But um, I'm going to have a sip one for me. If I can find tungsten rings that aren't stupidly expensive. Just because I don't want to go with the usual metals. What do you have against polonium? <laughs> Besides the cancer? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, it's a get out of marriage free uh, <laughs> I'm just saying if you want to put a self-timer on it. No, no, no. See, um... I would very much like to spend the rest of my life with Nori because Come on, man. then you I don't have to go I, I don't have to go through everything we've been through with anyone else. It's purely um Ladies and gentlemen, I give you egotistical romance. <laughs> romance. People say it's dead. What's romance? Completely self centered that one. I don't want to go through that bullshit again. <laughs> so another way of looking at that is winning <laughs> yes <laughs> I very much like her and uh yeah <laughs> look at my boots on This makes more sense. I got my boots on and haven't kicked a hole in anything. <laughs> I wore my boots today. I went shopping. <laughs> my feet have been exceptionally still this afternoon. <laughs> Tuxedo. When was the last time I... Like a legitimate tuxedo or like an. Never wore a legitimate tuxedo. Wow. Wore a suit a couple of times. Again, that same one suit that I have since prom, but yeah. <laughs> wore it a bunch of times. There will be gaming. <laughs> Considering we met in a video game, oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. You ever seen Game of Thrones Game of Thrones, man? <laughs> Here be dragons. Saying, dude. <laughs> Get a little LARPing going on during that wedding. Could very well happen actually. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. We, we get the muzzle on Jordan. We can ride him out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put some, like, goalpost at the other end of the church. Go, go move him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see Jordan running to the end, just grabbing the goalpost and then moving it a little bit. <laughs> LARP all over my face, man. I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, we got the right soundtrack for it. <laughs> That's some a very sexy, some LARP. sexy LARPing music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as one does. 
Uh, sexy LARPing. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Vince Stone. Somebody who's not going to be Googling erotic LARPing, but very much would like to. <laughs> That's something you don't need in your search history. Nope. Don't need that in my life, man. I'm good. <laughs> Cholo, or pearl models. <laughs> that's not sexy enough. Sure, there's a dude without a shirt in the background, but that's it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there's the unicorn wizard there. <laughs> he just saw a bear. <laughs> of course you found it, Maddie. <laughs> Adult content. No LARP income. And try this. Adult content in a LARP. Um, what kind of stories can you tell? Oh, I don't know, children. We all fucking know what kind. I, there's, there's always that one person. Like, but it doesn't I specifically just... say we can't. It does now. Give me a minute. Let me write that. I have to ask, <laughs> Maddie, <laughs> that you're right then. Because <laughs> adult content in a LARP in controversial. But what do we consider adult? What is gained or lost by restricted? What kind of stories your game can tell? <laughs> it's a game of LARP, baby. <laughs> oh, dude, that shit's like... <sighs> like, that's, that's actually But do you LARP hard, right? in controversial? <laughs> If you if you if you're if you're gonna be like trusting people to be a scene partner, like you're 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 showing up and you're not expecting a dick to get tossed out, or like yeah, like you should kind of know ahead of time, no? Well, we're talking Isn't about that idea you had about the muzzle might yeah. not be such a bad idea after all, right? <laughs> so erotic larping, erotic larping thing. That's just some people. Of course, that it's go, a thing, dude. I, 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 listen, I mean, like, all that what? is that's just some people that want to go fuck in the woods. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Didn't say there was, baby. If if if, if you want if you want to go fuck in the woods and pretend you're an elf, yeah, go fucking do it. You never know. <laughs> or maybe you do, and you just choose to forget. That's okay too. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, se sexual sexual role play is pretty common. Like people do it privately. Why not add more people? Well, they, they, we got a problem if you're doing it publicly, and I got to see that shit. <laughs> That's because you need to be a better sport. I'm not gonna call the cops on you, but I'm like I was. It's like this is like go, go camping, get a tent, like a normal person. No, right, you gotta fuck in the middle of the woods, like God intended. I don't know, man. I think the population was pretty like self-controlling when people were banging in the middle of the woods. Like, definitely more sporting. I, I mean, there's also the possibility too that you'd just be eaten by wild animals. Yeah, so. surprise bear. <laughs> yes, like, a oh. sexy time or getting eaten by a bear. Uh, there I'm, you go. I'm, 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 I'm just talking about in general, right? Like, if you're going on the woods, the fuck, it's because you need to be separate from your hunter gatherer group. <laughs> you're um, welcome, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme camping. Some 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 people don't like talking about this stuff, man. I don't think I, I don't know anybody so, has so, a problem so, talking about this. Society's stuff. taboo on sex is just so weird to me. It really is. No, dude, just like your core programming is to make more of yourself. And that and that in we and are of mammals. Is functionally <laughs> that in and of itself is functionally enforced. By the fact that sex feels good and sexual acts feel good. And lo and behold, we found ourselves a little loophole. Sometimes you call it the poop hole loophole. But <laughs> been... the poop hole. Yeah. The, the poop hole loophole. Uh, but the, 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 the whole point of it is like, well, you can do things to trick your brain into thinking that you're fulfilling that programming, but you're actually just screwing around and having a good time. I understand what this is supposed to be, Mia. 
It's Kirby playing Bayonetta. Kirby Bayonetta. Nah. That's Kirby. That's Kirby after he it ate Bayonetta. Well, there's the very simple logic of you know Bayonetta suits made out of her hair. It is. Yeah, she's she's entirely yep. naked all the time. But in the second she's game, she's got some straps. <laughs> yeah, the second game she's got short hair, so you can do the math. Hey man, some some people like bush. You can be like hair. What are you gonna be like that man? <laughs> All hair, all the time. Eh. I just like the concept of Gun Hills. I also like the concept of how the how it got made. It's the one thing you can thank Nintendo for. They 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 wanted like people to buy the Wii U. So, yeah, <laughs> Basil, I'm going said, to said need mid... to hear you say that out loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love he said a sentence uh, in between changing channels, and now we switch and follow and we're not sure if it actually was a coherent sentence behind it. What was it? What? <laughs> exactly. It's always fun with Scott because he does push to talk bullshit and you never hear exactly what he's trying to communicate, yeah. so you gotta guess. Wait, 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 which is funny, because he's actually trying to communicate that exact thing, but when you switch channels. Ah, uh, that, that, that's what he was uh, getting yes. at. This, I followed it. Well, I mean, sometimes I just randomly mute those streams <laughs> I, I, to mess with me. Oh, good. I, Someone I, is paying attention. Jordan, <laughs> you pay attention from now on. I, I always speak Canadian. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I need a Canadian. I speak a Canadian, right? Eh. You speak Canadian, right? I, I, mean, I don't know. Ask the indigenous yeah, Canadians. <laughs> Scott, you're, you're, you're kind of drifting into some uh, new One's feet. So... <laughs> Oh no, I'm 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 Canadian Brazilian. I can be I can I'm multiclassed. And, and Jewish. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, you multiclassed into Jewish as well. No, that that was that was the starter class. I'm multiclassed into Canadian and then Brazilian. But you see it's like it's like an AD and D second edition like multiclass where all the experience that I get is split evenly. So I'm actually like a level two character, but like I have the full level twos for all. Oh, the you just start at level one, but you need uh, the amount of XP to get to level three for each of the individual classes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. I get gets split into thirds. So, hey everyone! Yay! Hello, Jill. <laughs> Hello, Jill. Hello. <laughs> mm. Hey Pennywise. Hey Scoots. Hello. Hey, Mr. Alert. Hey, Foxy. Hey, Katana Steel. Hi. What's <laughs> this bullshit? <laughs> are you are you getting a frosty? Hi, everyone. We were doing something Hello. earlier that you're not allowed to say. Oh, um, well, 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 welcome. <laughs> oh, fuck, welcome man. to What's Deep that? Space Nine. Oh, Babylon 5. No, it's Deep Space Nine. Yeah. No, it's Babylon Farscape? 5. No, nope. no, it's, no, trust me, Joe. It's DS9. <laughs> Five lot. That's Babylon Five. No, it's not. <laughs> I have painted that image. <laughs> Does that, uh, you painted the wrong that, that, thing. That's cool. That, 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 that's some good Deep Space Nine fan. Right? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. All I know that was done on an Omega. So I... well, oh, that, yeah. Yeah. that wasn't. Um... No, Rocket League was made on oh, an no, Omega. That one isn't. That, 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 that's why the oh, version God. of UE three uses is so borked. <laughs> It's Frosty Fest. It sounds like a headache waiting hey, to happen. Bass. Hey, oh, yeah. hey, Basil. Is it, hey, is it Basil people. or Basil? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you Basil in the UK? Because if you're in the Basil UK, you have to say Basil. I, I mean, I'm sure it's been settled, but I never remember what the fuck it is. So I, I go with Basil. <laughs> If it's a person's name, it's Basil. If it's the plant, it's Basil. I, I just what, don't what, assume what, anyone's ever going to be like, fuck you, I'm named after the plant. Yeah, well, like, what if you are named after the plant, man? That, I'm delicious. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm you, fish. You, you, huh. you, you lick him and he tastes like cinnamon. What? <laughs> yeah, his, his, his name's Basil and he tastes like cinnamon. Man, if I it licked some basil and it tastes like cinnamon, I, I'm like, uh-uh. Uh, I'm, right, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about I'd have to look at the <laughs> label on the thing again. It's like, did I eat the oh, wrong thing? Oh, damn it. I got cinnamon basil again. <laughs> Curse. 
I, I mean, that, that, that's why you gotta ask him, right? I'm, no, talking, you... I'm talking. I'm talking about the person Lick based, first, not the plant. Ask questions later. <laughs> Linux Gamecast, okay. Ben Stone, 2019. <laughs> Put that on T-shirt. <laughs> uh, if we're going to start putting things we've said on t-shirts Slogans? i have so many cock ups <laughs> i mean we all do dude. we all do <laughs> everyone does at this point uh four by three monitors the easiest way to date any <laughs> show since the history yeah. of... I, I mean it, it was it was definitely a moment in Stargate when oh, they switched yeah. from like the CRTs to the to the LCDs. Like the yeah. first three series, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a thing. And that was a little That's weird because they the they still had you know all the monitors there for even like the sky mounted ones, you know the ones in the ceilings. And that would yeah. bug me knowing that there was like oh, a yeah, no, fucking that gives... forty kilo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if that if that gives, you're dead. You're just like fuck straight you up, up dead. Man. Right. Oh yeah. Fucking big old Dark Souls, you died in front of it. I mean, I'm not saying it'd be easy to shrug off like a 30 inch, but still. Like, if, it, if a corner hits yeah. you, no, you're gone. Oh, no, yeah. yeah if the 30, corner drops on you, is you're usually, gone. <laughs> yeah, 30, 32 is usually about 100, 110 pounds. I know because I have to lift them. You do? Who's making you do this? We'll see if we can help. Uh, back oh. when I was working in a TV store. Ah, a TV ah. store. <laughs> so a quad bike store? I don't. <laughs> no, that's that, 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 <laughs> I made that joke yesterday on Twitter, or was it the day before? <laughs> Plagiarismo, ladies and gentlemen, plagiarizing the jokes, the people who tell the jokes. I didn't see them. that. In my defense, sure. I didn't right. see that. Sure. <laughs> sure. I believe you, Plagiarismo. <laughs> Please. Hey, Mong boss. I Please don't Marissa. spend that much time Marismo. on Twitter. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I thought you can post a picture of you working in TV store. Damn. <laughs> Transporting ATVs with TVs. Yeah, dude, he's just like driving quads That'll through the sick. fucking windows. He's like, ah. <laughs> yes. That's why he doesn't work there anymore. He got the wrong idea. Like, Man, I, 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 I wish more games would do that, where, like, if they give you an option to drive to a place, but you have to, like, go inside the building, you should be able to just take just the car through the wall. It. Yeah. And just and just proc the cutscene and just be like, blam, we're here. Right. I mean, that's kind of the point of most speedruns, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know there is speedrunning for Hellblade. <laughs> of course there is. <sighs> I'm 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 cur I'm curious how buggy that game actually is. How glitchy all... can Not you terribly. <laughs> uh, like the full speed runs like three hours, but the the hack the wall hacks are all like a menu hack where you have to like turbo button the uh, pause ah, menu to like slowly yeah. get through a wall. It's nothing impressive. I thought maybe like oh maybe there's some neat tricks like no that. the 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 machine for pig ones is like, yeah that game's that, broke son. that 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 one's yeah. hilarious that one's hilarious do you, if you haven't seen it yet do yourself a favor and go watch the speed run for that it's you're just like oh oh I see that's why nothing in this game works <laughs> even if you're playing that game the way it's supposed to be played you can get it to glitch out <laughs> like. Oh, you're, you're being chased around by a pig. Let's put a chair here. And the pig goes in circles. Right. We're safe for the rest of the level. <laughs> My favorite is in the speedrun where they just like go through a wall right at the beginning and leap. And the fall distance is perfect enough that you can get to the end of the level on the other side. <laughs> There's actually a game jam game I made uh, about that where it was kind of like a super monkey ball thing where you kind of go through and uh, one of the levels uh, to kind of teach people that you have to look around, there's a pretty big jump and it goes through a couple platforms and then you realize there's nowhere to jump off of that and the way to advance was actually go backwards from the start and fall down to the end. So you have people oh, being there uh, kind of going through the, the maze and then they stop at a platform. Move? Scott? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's top of the platform, and there's a the voice cue that says, like, you know, he looks around, and there's nothing around. <laughs> and it's funny, because someone actually played it. It was a UA4 game jam, and someone actually played it, 
and they were screwing up. They were talking to the Twitch stream, and it actually went backwards onto the <laughs> onto the end. <laughs> so they completely missed all of that stuff. They actually did the solution correctly the first time. <laughs> That's like in Lemmings, one of the very early levels. It says not as hard as it looks. The game was called Jam Game because it was my game jam game jam game. Yeah. Game so jam on the back game, for that one. jam game jam. Where were you? Were you, were you proud of yourself, game. Scott? <laughs> yes, yes, I was. <laughs> Very good. That's why. You and it felt. was a jar of grape jam because no one likes sour grapes. I love Jordan sour grapes. My life is nothing <laughs> but sour grapes. It was, about a, jealous jar of, it yeah. was about a jealous jar of jam uh, that fell off the counter and ended up going through the nine circles of hell. Each circle was a bagel. And I'm not okay, joking. I, I, can, I can see that. Okay, that, tr that tracks. <laughs> I, I mean, if, you, if, if you're going to stick with the jam analogy, circles of hell and bagels, I get it. That's super anti-Semitic of you, but, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> what the sweet fuck is that, Steve? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Mm, <laughs> 70s sci fi. Yeah. Is that your doll collection? That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Except the dude looks That's not a television at all, TV. Steve. An ATV. <laughs> oh, the ATV. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I thought, I thought they were like little wagon hitches, right? Like, yes, I'm kin of Mars. <laughs> I don't know, man. They make some, like, dude, you want to talk about like some weird fetish shit, man? Barbie's got it down. Oh, yeah, no. Especially the life sized ones. They make life size? <laughs> oh, you talking real dolls? <laughs> <dolls? laughs> no, I'm saying there's probably a company out there that makes, like, life size Barbie dolls. Would not surprise me. You see, when you say that, my qualifier for that is like ones that you couldn't bang. Like, just like legit, <laughs> straight up. Yeah, the ones with no holes. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to stop you. If you're, if you're that motivated. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're like doing something like that, buy a real doll. But those things are almost prohibitively expensive. Audio is low. That's a lot of silicon. <laughs> 20,000 bucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? I'm away from my mic, fair way. Ah. Uh. Audio is low because I'm sitting on the lounge. What's a lounge? Chair broke. Couch. Couch. Yes. Chair broke. Keyboard on my lap. Yeah. Why'd you break your chair, man? I can't afford a new chair, so I'm using the lounge. You should use a yoga ball. Those are great until they're can't not. Can't afford a yoga ball. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford a yoga ball. They're like five bucks. Five bucks there. Fifty bucks here. No, like, uh, is, is there the like a... What like, fuck kind of yoga right, right. balls do they have in Australia? So, so, so that, that, <laughs> the kind uh, that you but, have to drive across the world to deliver. <laughs> what the heck? I, 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 I mean, I mean, Foxy, you're looking in the wrong place. What you need to do is go find like, uh, like a fitness store. That's like where I looked. I have looked like a, for this already. Hey, like uh, a place that, uh, Pedro, no, no, like, like a, a place that sells like treadmills and shit. Yes. Really, they're fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yes. So if you want what to was that penny wise? I wonder how much it would cost you to mail you like a five dollar yoga ball. Pennywise, I don't know what your <laughs> problem is, bro. I sent you an invite. Foxy. I know. It, for some reason, it didn't work. I clicked on it. Mm. Well, that's you. Your fate's in Pedro's hands now. Well, that's fine, Pennywise, mm -hmm. then. He has there soft he and gentle hands. <laughs> You're soft and gentle. <laughs> what? Actually, I am. I'm penis. Trying. He's <laughs> talking about your penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When, when is he talking? I'll buy him a glass of wine first, and Nori can uh, videotape everything. We're trying to make people's penises drink.
<laughs> it was cute at first. They're, they're, Stop they're not my strong. This is why Pennywise. <laughs> okay, somebody's going to end up with a bot. It's fine by me. One, two, three. Well, we can do one more if anyone's interested. TikTok. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I want you to start playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprised we got this many people. Like this is this is the dead <laughs> the dead time between Christmas and New Year's. Because we're all travelers who. Nah, not really, Scott. <laughs> yeah, nobody so loves travelers. me. Nobody wants to hang out with <laughs> me on Christmas. Marvel traveling through space. <laughs> well, End time. Well, I'm not wrong. Wait, actually, no, I'm Jewish. So. I, I, I went to a Catholic family's house for Christmas. I ate all their food. It was, was great. I was about to say, I don't know if that gets you out of Christmas. Um, yeah. I, I, just, I just went for like pasta and brisket. It was pretty good. <laughs> I get Don, presents, if you were in like, the UK, fuck. I'd get you a new laptop. <laughs> I mean, it's not new, but it'd be better, it'd be better than that. He would flip through his <laughs> hoard. It would clip through Micro his Center hoard. has an amazing deal right now. For a hexacore i5 or quad core i5, 499. 8 gigs of RAM, IPS screen. Did everyone it's see those? Still um, an Intel IGP though. Intel no, it's four not. terabyte it's SSDs, a... NVMEs, 500. Oh shit, bucks. we got we got a we got a bot. Yeah, I told you we got to get a bot. Okay, 1050 is not bad. <laughs> Oh, guess what? All of last week's mutators are on, too. No, so no boost. Enjoy. <laughs> Get out. Have fun. Damn it. This, this is going to be a tough one. No boost and super high graph. <laughs> Come on, Team Fed. Uh, yes. yes. That was on me. Fox, I'm hey. sorry. <laughs> Foamer. I got in the way there. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> Why is the bot just driving into a wall? <laughs> it's a bot. Rip. Foam. Rip. It's, he's foamy, all right. They painted that one way. with lead. Get off me, Jordan. You're the one who's kissing me, Foxy. <laughs> You're I the like one this. that's on me. No. Ugh. Damn it, Bull. I tried. Thank you, Foma. Thank you for sitting at that the ball. <laughs> ah, Come on. Oh. Santa there's, Scott. There's like so much build up to like a boop. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, is no on. boost. <laughs> there is no boost. You can't really demo anyone. You can annoy them slightly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can boop at the people. That's it. <laughs> Get off me, Venomous. All right. Get Turbo fucked boost. Whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pennywise, you keep trying to jump. This is a slap <laughs> fight. I love it. it. This is a slap fight. This is like slap flight. Oh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> no, there's, there's no flight because there's no boost. I believe I can... <laughs> I can deuced. <laughs> I need can... all the deuced. <laughs> Go, Scott. Deuce it. <laughs> Do a bunch of angel deuce. Uh, uh, Do the deuce. <laughs> God damn it. Not that way. <laughs> Boop. I guess I gotta stay in goal because I don't trust that bot. <laughs> I genuinely, I, I just fucked off and drove over there to come hang out with you guys. This is getting lonely. <laughs> One is the loneliest oh, number that you. Ah, ah yes. 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 Um, Okay. <laughs> point by point breakdown. All right. Boop, boop. I missed boop. it. <laughs> it was properly scooched. <laughs> yep. Hmm. That went sideways. 
it's it's a, it's a lateral move for sure. <laughs> Scott, what are you doing? <laughs> you got it. Try and get around the bot. Damn it! I drove too fast. I went past the bull. I was not expecting that. I drove too fast and was too ass, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, save. Dude, this is Newtonian type shit, man. If I hit it here, maybe by the time it gets there. Crossing. Nope, no cross for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why you show me boost, Gabe? You know, let me get. <laughs> God damn it, for me. You're pushing him there, down. Alan, I helped you out. Go, keep scooching it that way. <laughs> I'll try. Ah. Come on, scoochy nope. boochies. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that was a uh, self goal, but I'll take bye. it. Watch. <laughs> yeah, it was well, friendly of some well, sort. What, 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 what happened there? Yeah, it's nope. Oh, Fire. yeah, it was oh, Fulmer. It was totally Fulmer. <laughs> you know what? I'd say we're doing pretty good considering. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 he's, he's, he's on like super expert too, isn't he? Yeah, he's on pro. That was, that was good then. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's really hard when it's like five on three. Um, this no boost thing is messing with me. Yeah, you used to it. Oh, nose. Come on. Boomer, what the fuck? <laughs> Do not question up, the bot. <laughs> oh, he's in net there too. He he's just driving around in Boom. circles in net. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that, Pennywise? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Look at look, look at this. Look at this shit. He's just like, Whoa. look, Scott, Pennywise, you were both just as guilty. <laughs> no, I was not guilty. I literally knocked it out from getting knocked in. I was knocking it to the left. <laughs> Bot lover. <laughs> That's botist. No! Oh, oh, God no! damn it, Mr. Oh, Alert, you booped it out of the oh, way. Uh, <laughs> thanks for, for uh, clearing us of our pity. Or, uh... oh. <laughs> no, that was totally <laughs> Mr. Alert's fault, too. I was going to boop it away, and Tonight <laughs> Mr. Alert just scooched it slightly. <laughs> Tonight on projection. <laughs> Can't blame the bot, blame the teammate. <laughs> you saw that! <laughs> I'm just... I'm... Unlike some people here, I'm here to fuck around and have fun, so... Yeah. <laughs> no. <Nope. Boom. laughs> just like Jordan scored that own goal. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just, I just fucking didn't go in time. He was out of boost. No, it's foamy. Which is true. That was totally Jordan. Yeah. Legitimately out of boost. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> it would have gone in with or without my. It wasn't for you and that silly dog. But yeah, I know. Oh, get well. to the right and foamy and push it in. Don't, don't, don't expect things from the bot. Just assume he's on the other. <laughs> Keep team. talking to the bot. I'm sure you're gonna hurt his fifis in a minute. It'll start playing better. No. The. the... The bot, the bot does everything in its power to just go against us, period. It doesn't matter what. It's busy it can't be reasoned forward. with. It can't be reasoned with. It's... They can't How be did reasoned I get with. a demo, by the way? <laughs> Fen got MVP, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And somehow, I was scored the second highest. I led my team. The rest of y'all got dunked on by a bot, so fuck, man. I don't know. That's yeah, card better than Scott. You can't talk too much shit when the bot's in second place now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, like... But look at it. The pick is zero. <laughs> look, look at this fucking statistical outlier here. Apparently, oh, in no boost scenarios, I pull my weight. Let me pull. There we go. All right. All right. Well... That was that was definitely a game of Rocket League. Hey man, we learned a lot and yeah, about that ourselves. Thing, thing was joke. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the drop shot settings last time. Yeah, it was.
Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing drop shot like that. <laughs> well, drop shot had that extra RNG of the floor disappearing. <laughs> I'm not going to say I don't make the rules because I did on that one. What is Rocket Pass? <laughs> you literally do. <laughs> Alan, explain it in, in chat, because I know you're not talking right now, because you're sick. Time. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't do it out of principle. Motherfucker told me to do something like that. Do it, Alan. <laughs> tell, tell us what Rocket oh. Pass is. Explain it to us. Everyone knows what Rocket Pass is. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know what rocket. Pass it's is. the new microtransactions. You don't have the loot boxes anymore, so now you buy the rocket pass and you get access to cosmetics. Hmm? But this was there long before they removed the crates. Yeah, they still had the uh, loot boxes before then. Yeah. Now, instead of um, loot boxes, you got the item shop. Yep. <laughs> Hey, there's a <laughs> Ever the poet there, Rohit. More like rocket ass. Man. <laughs> Fucking wordsmith Rohit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't need any of that rocket sass. Let's see if you can deal with what the rock is cooking. Um, can I smell it? Nope. I smell what the no smelling allowed. Oh, that's good. Because I've been farting you this smell me, Jordan. entire time. <laughs> I, well, I know what you smell. It adds you smell flavor. Poop. You you live in a sewer. <laughs> Under the tree. Hey, wonderful, beautiful poop. <laughs> okay, so we have boost. You got boost. And spikes. Wait, wait, and spiky bullshit. Spiky QB bullshit. Whoa! <laughs> Super bounce! <laughs> round and round and round. You're still oh. fucked. It's a, it's, a, it's a tiny cube, too. Oh. It's so cute. Oh. And it floats forever. Oh, no. Ah. Not go, go, Alan. <laughs> right. You're on my team. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Go, Scoot! Go, Pedro! Which one are you? Oh, there we well, go! No goal cool reset! Oh, Shit! Well <laughs> no goal cool reset! I didn't know about that. None of it. You, no, no, there was you, no you goal at get, all. There was no goal. There was no you got, goal you, at all. You got, you got Wait, no there. goal? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you got, you got denied. Anyway, yeah. Stole it. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, uh, damn it. I tried. Oh, uh, uh, run, run, run. There, there is no goal reset, but yeah, Pedro still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, does Pedro not have spikes? Here, there they are. That's oh, shit. <laughs> that was the shortest spike session I've, I've seen. <laughs> it got back Boop. session. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to fucking get off, man. Get off. Hit the spike. Hit the hit the cube. Cube spike. Fucking cube. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> well, if Scott's capable of anger. He would have uh, used uh, it right then. I, my ass got blown up. Damn it, Pedro. <laughs> Way to explode inside Can my it? asshole. No, so we're gonna miss. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. There's room for two. <laughs> ah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, Scott, you got oh, it! Oh, oh, you avoided Pedro what? all the way. Nice. <laughs> Woohoo, Scott! Oops, Good, God, job. Good job, Pennywise. Good. Scott, wrong way. Ow. I, I should have had spikes by that point. <laughs> Jeez, the ball are really snippy today. <laughs> I guess oh, fuck now, Pedro. Alan's developed a strat. <sighs> no. And Pennywise has got a plan. 
Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a this, plan with a plan. Yes. Oh, and you let him in too. <laughs> Come on, Jordan. Oh, oh. No. oh. <laughs> oh I tried. Ghost <laughs> Oh shit! Still got it. <laughs> Go, Alan. Go, Go, Alan. Alan. Nope. <laughs> nope. Scott was not having that. Will the spikes hold? Will the spikes hold? Yeah, they uh, did. Nope. They did. No! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Now we got a game. Now we have a game. <laughs> the opponents have figured out the spiky bullshit. They're applying something mildly resembling something slightly above orangey. <laughs> Slightly. Slightly. <laughs> ah, damn it! They're effectively playing Russian roulette with a clip. <laughs> oh, oh now it's time. <laughs> Jordan, you got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, you Dunks. do. We got a point. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mmm. Fucked it up. What the Fuck hell it up, Scott. <laughs> Can it be driven in? No. Go, Foxy. Yes. Oh, there's <laughs> false hope achieved. Nope. I have to compensate for oh. really weird laugh. Especially with the spot. It's gonna hold. Hold! <laughs> go, Pedro, go. I was on my side. I could not do it. <laughs> can you fly in? Yeah, you can. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I, I just ran right under that That's one. good, Ben. Huh? Oh. Looks like we're going into overtime, lads. Uh, Looks yeah, like it. Yeah. All right. Shit. Oh, All the shit. pressure. All the pressure. <laughs> All the beams are on the waffle iron. You're right. All the ship stations are. Oh, I missed it! Oh, oh, I thought that was gonna hit the wall! I thought that was gonna hit the wall! Oh, we don't get to see uh, a replay Scott of that, went to that but that was amazing! <laughs> there it is. Uh, <laughs> that was a friendly, too! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> it gave me the score, I just touched it. It's cold, man. It's cold. Uh, you can be like that. Uh, spiky uh, bullshit, <laughs> give us. And the spiky bullshit, take it. <laughs> you dri you're driving the Meeseeks tank, aren't you? Yep. All right. Cool, cool. They gave it to me for free, and so I'm using it. Hmm. Oh yeah, all the boxes you had, uh, when they right. stopped doing it, you basically just unlocked them. Yeah, I've had, the, I've had all the Rick and Morty ones for a while. I think we all do. Yeah, I've had them for ages. Have you bought any? Hmm. I don't care enough about Rocket League to spend money on it. I bought the one thing! Hold on, let me play it. So Pedro, of course Pedro's paying it. a win. Of course, pay to win. <laughs> this game's pay to win. <laughs> <laughs> it's the DeLorean. It's got well, the exact right same um, hitbox as uh, the car I was playing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If they put a cyber oh, truck in, yeah. Probably. I mean, there kind of is one. <laughs> <laughs> and I got all my stuff in crates. Let's not. That'd be a dick move. All right, that's slightly less of a dick move. And it's a fine balance. It is, man. You can't make it impossible. <laughs> you got. You got to provide hope. Awesome. Hope is a fool's game. Yeah. So no giant balls on um, hoops because <laughs> those don't sink apparently. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. All right. You got something against giant balls, though? 
<laughs> oh no 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 i got nothing against giant balls more power to you if you have them but uh it's uh yeah, yeah. no you can't sink them in hoops thank you don't tell me where i can put my balls Mark away. You can put your balls <laughs> wherever you want, Ven. <laughs> That's between me soldier. and my Nicholas Cage yoga pants. You can put them wherever you want. You can put them wherever you want, but it doesn't count as scoring. Says so you. For each eye. <laughs> I've got anyways. Star Trek yoga pants. <laughs> do, oh, do they, do they have, like, Mr. Spock's face on them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Oh, all right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all the mutators. All the mutators. <laughs> Booping. Mm. Yes. <laughs> at, least there's, at least there's goal reset. Though. I was there for you. <laughs> Live long and stretchy. Yeah, that ball could not be fucked. It's like, boom. Very good, Scott. Very good. <laughs> I touched it, apparently. <laughs> oh, the co-writer for I'll Be There For You died this week. Oh, there's really? Some yeah, trivia. The, from the Rembrandts, I think that's what the band was called. Uh, yes. Yeah, the band that played it. Yeah. They didn't write it. But, uh, oh, spam! Oh, oh god, damn, Whoa. Daniel! Try and save it. Damn. <laughs> Where did that come Boom. from? And okay, take two. Wow. Click. Snipped. And slam. I think Bo Seal. Fox and I both try to save it. Seal, it's the old <laughs> click and snip. Click in snips. Oh, oh God. That bounce. <laughs> that bounce. It's a stainless steel frame, man. Whoa. Nope. Push it, push it. Push it real good. Push it real good. <laughs> Push it real good! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it good! Wrong man. Yeah, oh no, but you kind of want to hit. Would, would, would you consider Devo the exact opposite musically as Salt and Pepper? Not really. <clears throat> Damn it! I mean, I can see the case to be made for that, but. That would be oh, Frozen Ball. Frozen Ball, Frozen Ball. This frozen. This guy's driving around it. He's avoiding square. Wow, I missed that. That would have been interesting. Why don't they not touch the pole yet? Yeah, the gravity's high enough to where it doesn't freeze the pole in the air. <laughs> well, I <laughs> was making that up. Well, I mean, it, it was frozen for a completely different way. Let's be real. It's quite interesting. No! That. Fucked up. Royal. Boom. That was supposed oh, to take yeah. it. Hey, that was supposed to take it across the field and it took it nowhere near. Because I had my harpoon on it. Scott, I swear to God, I'm going to break into your house your and steal all your shoes. Just cut the alley yeah, that's it. fancy that way. Keep going. I'm trying. Spikes, really? Okay. I can only do so much, Captain. Michael, that car looks there very There we go! Nice. Very good! <laughs> very shouty. Him, <laughs> and, thank you. There we go. Boop! <laughs> A very good boopage. What the boopage? Boops. Foxy. Foxy, Foxy, Foxy. Foxy's boobs. Got it. Foxy boobs. Very good. Oh, look at Alan with his decorations still up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if someone can RNG that through a goal. Uh, yeah, there it is. Right there. It is. there. It. I had a boxing glove too. I should have used that. I saw my opportunity. Oh, I was going in on mine, but 
Scott boop did it. <laughs> it's like a pinball game on meth. I'm trying, man. I can't follow. <laughs> it's like it's like Dragon Ball. It's moving too fast. My eyes can't keep up. <laughs> you gotta drag the cube, not the ball. <laughs> Listen, man, he's got a ball on his side. Look. <laughs> it's a really dull cube, okay? <laughs> it's a frozen cube. It's a very round cube. <laughs> is round cube still around? Yeah, yeah, it is still around. I got it installed. It better still yeah, be around. Cube is, yeah. That still is. Might not have been updated in a minute. That blue beam is so useless. Oh, you're the right idea, Scott. I uh, like that. Pedro, <laughs> shake it, make it for you. <laughs> Pedro hacked it in with his pay to win. No, car. I was just sitting, getting booped the, around by Jordan, and then bloop. Uh, <laughs> that, that that's legit. I tried to blow you up, and that make didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Uh, it's not having that. Just trying to go for some redemption. <laughs> Usually by this time in the match, everyone realizes that it's better to drive through, but... Uh, no! There it is. Uh, I'll take the assist. <laughs> I, try, I tried to page run my way to victory, but... <laughs> Mr. Alert was there to scot its way to victory. <laughs> Hacker core. Hey, Rokli, I got to freeze it. Got to freeze it? <laughs> yes, good! <laughs> Ball only has five minutes no! left until it explodes. Six episodes later. <laughs> 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 I'm going to cut you in half. <laughs> Don't get in. Don't get in. Uh. Oh. But in the end, that was a real dicky rifle. Oh, Ooh, so we're going to miss him. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Destructor Disc is OP. <laughs> OP as fuck. The, there's not. Has anything repelled the Destructo Disc? Cell. And that was just to like. Oh, he caught yeah. it though, didn't he? Cell cool. No, no, it, it, it broke on the back of his neck. Oh. Yeah. That was supposed to be like the. Cool. Oh shit, this thing is the thing that could hurt Frieza, but it doesn't hurt Cell. Boom. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm just glad I didn't get. <laughs> Like zero the points. The needs me. <laughs> uh, I did. I did better than Pennywise. Oh I man! I did something. I always like to imagine, you know, Scott. Scott's the one playing on Windows. He's got like trainers and shit installed. Like, oh, he, <laughs> he totally does too. He's a lead hack sort. Mad hacks. <coughs> Who's being awfully silent? You saw nothing. Didn't Frieza have like a destructo disc? Yeah, I think I think he ripped yeah. it off from Krillin though after he got his tail cut off. He did. It was a big purple one. Yeah. No, it was it was a yep. tiny purple one, and it could split into two. Right. And... You could navigate with him, right? Yeah. Like Krillin figured out how to do that eventually, <laughs> but uh. That's how Goku yeah. cut Frieza in half. He just ran Frieza's own destructo discs into him. <laughs> One through the tile, one through I the I try to keep... Actually, I might very well be kept. Because you you got to give them credit. Like, Funimation, like, with that new series that's, like, 23 seconds long, you can forget it's a thing for nine months, and you got, like, half an episode. <laughs> the what thing? How indeed. The, uh, oh, the shit! That's Dragon the thing Ball I watch. The, the Harley Quinn What's show. That? You haven't watched that yet? No, I haven't. Yeah. Yeah, nibble into that. You, you, you'll dig it. Send me a message like after the first like 10 sec, 15 seconds of it and be like, all right, I get it. <laughs> I've, se I've seen like a clip of it where like Batman talks to Damien about sex or something. It, the, 
what 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 they're doing like with those characters and like uh, I'm surprised they let you do that but okay it it's worth watching I, I recommend it all right there's a something to watch I have to look into it myself all right the last drop shot of the night of the year and of the year yeah so, Smoke them if you got them. And Mara Quasma Hanukkah. I'm gonna pass it. Let's Mary drink some gin and tonica. Quasma <laughs> Hanukkah. Oh, I love it? gin and tonic right now. Oh. I love some gin. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Tip Top Tet, and a solemn, dignified Ramadan. What was that from? The Simpsons. Curveball. High bounce, That's right, gigantic, and low friendly ground. fire, <laughs> and, and friendly fire. Great. Advantage, Pedro. Push. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, low bounce. <laughs> oh no! High bounce, low graph. <laughs> no bad ball. No, big bad ball. Bad ball, he's high and tough. Bad balls. I thought they made a Batman Beyond game. Uh, they did. Uh, it was like for the Game Boy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, that's a big old fuck you <laughs> hole. I like it. I don't like that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 shite. What uh, yes, 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 <laughs> He's not here to defend himself. <laughs> this is like Rocket League bullet time. It is. Oh no, there is bullet time. Oh yeah, yeah. I could have thrown that in, but that's just mean. Man. <laughs> that would that would just fuck <laughs> people up. This is like I just want to watch him have. <laughs> wow! Come on. <laughs> It's too big and too floaty. <laughs> too Boku. Too Boku. Hit the ground, you motherfucking thing. Oof. Ow. Yeah, it did, I right did. in the corner. <laughs> I would have went in if you didn't touch it. See, this this is legitimately everyone who plays as Kryptonite. You gotta be able to juggle <laughs> some shit in the air. I'm like, nope. Boom. <laughs> No. There it is! Yes! No! no. That was my fault. Oh. And then I died. No, that was Jordan. That was old Jordan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, di I died, and then I brought okay. back. Brought it back. <laughs> Got it. Supersonic acrobatic <laughs> rocket cars. You don't think you could ever top that? I don't know. Top that. Nope. Number nine, that's what it would <laughs> Sonic. No! It's gonna touch the floor! Oh, it did. <laughs> oh, it did, alright. Oh, it touched so much floor. I don't know, I'm just playing around in the fucking walls at this point. <laughs> You're Whoa. not even touching the ball, Foxy! <laughs> I know that! I'm not doing lack of trying. Alright. Brian is turning too much. Just to go oh, the almost. Oh. Almost. Uh, is this gonna roll in? No. Is it gonna roll in? That's gonna be fantastic if it does. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah, oh. the high bounce does nothing with low ground. I have the high ground, Anakin! <laughs> oh, I'm still on the wall. Oh, no. who's going in? That's it. That's oh, it. Yeah. Oh, 
hit the scanner. <laughs> you scored! Yeah. I hate the scan. Two cool. very legitimate goals on that one. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Thanks to meet you. Jordan did good. Oh, well done, you hacker. You paid a win. <laughs> I hit it. I hit it. Get away, my stuff. No! <laughs> That's my noise. <laughs> oh, come oh, on, Mr. Alert. Wow. Let that touch the floor. <laughs> lava, lava. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's. <laughs> oh, nope. Wrong way. Oh, that's the floor. <laughs> Clown no like. Come on, drop, 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 you motherfucking Mr. Lux. Drop, 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 <laughs> shot, drop, 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 shot. <laughs> gonna, we just yeah, gotta stop. Ooh, Scott made contact. <laughs> Oh, hi, Jordan. I love, oh, okay. I liked out there. I wasn't sure what happened. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was the first time we got a little boom lag in a long time. Uh, okay. <laughs> hi, Mr. Sir. Aw. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, one last. <laughs> Because it had no more floor to nope. bounce on. Uh, I suppose no. that was the last oh. one on my team to touch it, so that counts. Yeah. <laughs> Does, it doesn't matter. Oh. I, appar I apparently won this game for our team. Woo. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. By a bit, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. I mean, that, you're, Scott that, did poorly. <laughs> that's damn near the entire other team's score. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jordan. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, die in a fire. There we go. Christmas spread the love. Fire. Speak of dying spread in the Spread love. You gotta spread the love, man. Give hugs for everyone. Spread it like the hugs. mayonnaise. Hugs, not mayonnaise. Remember, uh, as the wise sage Brack once said, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Spread the mayonnaise. Shoot submarines, but don't touch me. Do, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, do, do, boys and girls, do, 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 uh, thanks for coming do, and hanging out do, with us on this uh, Hey Man, there's really nothing better to do night. And that was awesome. Last show of the year. And we learned precisely fuck all, other than uh, we have missions to buy yoga pants. So that ass can indeed pop. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I uh, look forward to terrifying you all in the new year. <laughs> in our own unique and special ways. Welcome back to Linux Twerkcast. <laughs> See, th I'm also thinking about like, can you get twerking lessons? Yes, you can. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, there is a stream on Tuesday. <laughs> This is gonna be you twerking. twerking. <laughs> I mean, Andrew's if the yoga pants get here hit, in time, hit his twerktorial. <laughs> Dude, twerktorial, baby. <laughs> twerktorial. <laughs> twerktorial. That'd be great. Open <laughs> twerktorial. <laughs> Open courseware. <laughs> I'm just saying, if those yoga pants get here in time, there may be a twerktorial. <laughs> You'll end up choking on them. All right. Jill, Foxy, Mir. Mr. Alert, Pennywise, and Scott, and everyone else who showed up and said hi. Yep. It's time to say goodbye. We'll hang out. Uh, ah. Show's over for video people, but we'll be in Discord for a few minutes saying, fuck, we made it another year. Unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. You hear that, Fate? Oh. Toast made it another year. <laughs> bye bye, 2010.
Wait. There's still time for the snow plow. <laughs> yes. Bye-bye <Hong Kong. laughs> <laughs> nine years ago. 